And hey, what's up? What are you guys all doing in my house? What's up? How you guys doing? How you doing? Welcome back to the funnest channel in the world, the Crypt. Thank you all for waiting. I do, uh, I do appreciate that. Oh, that was just. It, <laughs> I've had an interesting here. Um, while I wait for everyone to come in, I let me tell you guys because you guys think it's funny. Time steps the DMs. Okay, thank you, pets. Love you. Uh, I've had an interesting, <laughs> uh, 24 hours, let's just say. Now, I have a question for Beth. Beth, what's all the fuck shit all about? And when I mean Beth, I mean, I'm talking about Queen of Spades, aka Queen of Buttholes, aka Marilyn Manson. Um, now... I could say whatever I want, right, folks? Like I said, I'm just saying this until people come in and I can start with the Shanty stuff. But this is really interesting. This is really interesting. I think you guys will get a kick out of this. She made a video about me, you know, whatever, because she has a sad, pathetic life. And I responded because I thought it was just ridiculous. But that's before I knew what I know now. The difference is no one came to her giving her my information. No private investigators, no one working with the police in her country, nothing like that. No one gave her my information. But I, but on the other side of the coin, do you want to know how many people came, uh, reached out to me because I made that video about her? Several, several in Canada. Beth, you have a fucking federal investigation and you have the balls to be attacking me? Are you fucking nuts? You got a little kid. What are you doing attacking me? Gotcha, bitch. Right, Chappelle? Like, seriously, like, Queen, Beth, Beth G, yeah, I got all your info. Not from a troll, not from a doxer, but from a private investigator working with your, your little bounty police or whatever they call them your little guys on the horses whatever after they explained to me what your name means and wow folks if anyone and what's up i really got oh let me shut one out what's up i got <laughs> isabella janelle katie patty please notice me always i will i see you scott what's up scott and here for the mess. Of course you are. So am I. Encourage. And this guy Draven, you know, I got I heard he's got a big schlong. And C2 Gypsy. I know a replay crew. Okay. Um, let me see. Let me see who else. Because I always want to shout out my members. Thank you guys for becoming members. And thank you guys for just hanging out. Like I really, I really freaking appreciate it. Be careful. She's crazy. You know what, Adorables? I don't care. Because now I pity her and I feel sorry for her. Um, because now I know the script and now I know that she was attacking me. Hey, Mindy, what's up? Now I know, now I know who was involved. And Miss Modak, how you doing? Eva, how you doing? JR, like I said, I'm just waiting for some people to get in. Um, someone's calling, yeah, that's Beth. Beth, you hear me calling. Because you're on YouTube all night. You got a pathetic life. Maybe you should take yourself out with uh what's up folks? How you doing? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. No, no talking ends here. I'm just kidding. Just kidding. Um Granny Gun, how you doing? Um, but yeah, now that I know that she um did this to herself. It's really funny and pathetic. And I and like I said, all I want to do is I want to show you guys. I'm not going to show it. But for further clarification, please check out this channel that has a lot in it. Very informative channel. Very information. Very good information. The channel's name is Westmost. And he made a... So she faked her disappearance and her blank, her end attempt on Twitter sad she pretended to be a cps she pretended to be a reporter she's a sicko like seriously straight up lolcow sicko 
so anyway, I thought it was funny that and in, that that people would contact me and tell me that she's underfed an investigation. Now listen, folks, uh, I ain't stupid. If uh, if they if she didn't know that. I would never have said this online publicly, but she knows that. Beth knows that. Beth, you know you're under federal investigation. Why are you playing games with me? Are you? Is your life that pathetic? Is your husband that much of a cuck loser? I guess he is because you let that you gave that troll pictures of your butthole. Oh, and another thing, another thing, one more thing, folks. I, I find it highly insensitive and sexist and messed up. That queen of buttholes went after me because I said that comment. But guess what? She tried to do an OnlyFans. She tried to try to do uh, giving guys a bunch of twerking videos. Yeah, I found that out too. Ew. I'm sorry, Beth. You look like Marilyn Manson to me. You're ugly. You can never hold a candle to Crazy Renee. And I find it insulting. And so does she, thinking that I would ever want you over her. Uh, sorry. Please don't try again. <laughs> So, yeah, it really just surprised me that I got all these, um, that I got all these, all this information. Because I really didn't think that I was going to get all this information about her. And I just wanted to share it with you folks. She might be going away for a while. And unfortunately, like, I don't, I hate it when people's children get involved. But there's about five other parties out there that think that, somebody this mentally ill should not be taking care of a little girl do i agree well, maybe maybe not if she's telling the little kid about it which apparently she is this little kid's afraid it's like shanny's children she's afraid to leave the house because she thinks that rsn and onision are outside ready to pounce on her with west most and animancer and all these other people i don't even know about and it's just not true so i just want to let you guys know that um Queen of Spades, a.k.a. Queen of Buttholes, a.k.a. Beth G. Marilyn Manson is a low cow. She'll be a low cow forever. And now that I know that she's under federal investigation, uh, well, she fucked around and now she's going to find out. Thank you. What are we talking about? <laughs> um, no, I was just finishing up my, my last video from uh j mom my last video if you watched my last video i brought up this person named queen of spades she was going into chats and um there was a couple people in the crypt that guessed that she was involved in the doxing of miss carrie now i know with a hundred percent certain that she was because guess what folks queen of spades is a doxer beth you're a doxer surprise surprise Oh, and I have it on good authority that anti-social media paid Beth $200 to go after Carrie. And me, apparently. Go after Carrie to dox her. Go after me to harass me. Yeah, thanks, anti-social. Hey, anti, um, I heard that you're part of a certain party. And maybe Queen's a part of that party, too. Um, I've heard. So, like, seriously, watch the circles you hang out with. But that's okay for now. I have screenshots and I have more stuff as it continues. I just wanted to fill you guys in while I was waiting for people to come in that I found out that she, Queen of Spades, Beth, is currently under investigation. And the investigator gave me her name, last name, address, phone number if she tries to F around with me. So I can immediately know who to call. So investigators, thank you. You know, <laughs> I've never gotten a, uh, information like that from that. Usually it's from a doctor or a troll. So to get it from an investigator was surprising. Um, but that was an interesting 24 hours. So when we get back to that, yes, I'm, you know, because people don't know her. So I want you guys just to know, like, don't talk to her. She's about to get federally something. And I, I don't want to say, but they, they're looking at her with a fine tooth comb. But that's enough about her. She's annoying. <laughs> let's get into the meat and potatoes. Thank you all for being here. Please like. Um, let's go. So I hope you guys liked my thumbnail. I had that made me crack up for like 20 minutes. <laughs> She's got a butt on her arm. Um, the other day or yesterday, uh basically Rev made this video. 
and it was like ha 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 we didn't get to go to the doctor ha 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 and that was it and don't blame shanny because she'll beat me ha 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 and well i'll let you listen to it but uh that's how he wanted to kind of level the playing playing field so she wouldn't get harassed by her trolls for not going to a doctor hey guys what's up rev here so this actually is a video that shanny wanted me to make okay all right so we got to the doctor um from the uber and and we were sitting there waiting to get into the the, the uh, you know into the appointment we were in the waiting room and uh they came out and said uh doctor had an emergency and had a leave fast and we're like what so they don't they didn't tell us anything more than that so she said you, you're gonna have to reschedule so the next appointment was on the 23rd. So that's that's what happened. We weren't able to get into the office. We got into the Bullshit. office, but we didn't we weren't able to have the appointment. So don't be mad at Shani for this, all right? Because this it, things happen, guys, and there must have been some kind of emergency hey, that the doctor had to go and take care of. I don't know what the hell. I don't know any Um well, it was an investigator crash that was working with a couple of people that are working with federal agents and what they wanted was permission to use my video and uh, any of the screenshots that i had to help their case because they are sick of being harassed by her and i said sure no problem if if my video or my screenshots are going to help with your case no problem if she's harassing you and you have kids of your own no problem but that's what happened and bro i i can show you the uh i can show you the emails uh later on i have no problem with that i swear to god it's, it's just it's just weird i'm just not used to this you know it's crazy but yeah an investigator who's working with a per couple who's working with police on the federal level details of that so that's what happened um we might be on later on whatever i don't know maybe soon i don't know so uh go to shanny's twitch follow subscribe all that stuff but th no that's what happened guys it sucks you know but um it's not that long of a wait so that's a good thing all right i'll see you guys soon i guess peace out yes you can you can find so many threads about uh queen of spades she's uh she's insane and like i said i didn't realize how insane until i started to look into it all right so i'm going to start with the smaller ones and then i'm going to get into the video uh you know the video that i just got a uh, screen um uh, yeah screen grabs from i couldn't take an uber oh bullshit my phone Fucking. okay oh yeah one, one more thing folks and i just called i called i called yesterday it's pa logistic care PA Logistic Care. They said, "What do you need?" I said, "I need a. Uh, I live in. I, I live in Scranton, and I need a, a doctor appointment. My doctor is 20 minutes away, and I picked like the the closest hospital within 20 minutes." They said, "Sure." And they said, "If and I said, well, what if my doctor is 40 minutes away?" They said, "No problem. We'll drive you up to 100 miles." And I said, "Okay." And I said, "What do you need from me?" They said, "A copy of your Medicaid card. You sign the paper. You put your number on the on the on the piece of paper. That's it. They charge you nothing. The only downside for getting their assistance is you're gonna have to wait about 10 minutes for them to pick you up when you're done with your doctor appointment. That's it." So she is a liar, folks. Fucking assholes in this world. Who's an asshole? I'm an asshole. You're an asshole. We're all fucking assholes. Hey, Ty, what's up? Hey, Audi cat. Fuck me in the ass. Don't fucking hate me. Don't fucking Ew, give me no. fucking shit. I don't want shit from people right now. I don't need shit because I'm mad as fucking hell over what happened. Yeah, yeah, Katie. Um, she's in a lot of communities, and I found that out because she has a pathetic life, and she disguises her her uh, pathetic life by anti MLN content. But you know what? Pretending to be CPS, pretending to be a reporter, 
is not anti MLM content. Pretending to end yourself and then being a sock account for three weeks on Twitter to see if anyone's talking about you. That's this, this is not that's low cow behavior. But I'm telling you, not me, because I don't go this far, but there's a lot of people out there who think that her child should not be with her. Because obviously, if the husband can't handle her or take care of the situation, this guy can't even stop her from taking booty pictures and sending it to troll RSN. And I'm sorry, that guy looks like a troll. Oh, thank you, Crash. I appreciate it. So, uh, let me just name out the gifts real quick. Cindy, Lovely Leech, Lori, Danica, Mary Jane, and I think that's it. Welcome, guys. And for the guys who already had it, <laughs> that's awesome as well. But yeah, that's all with that. But people have told me to watch out for her. I don't give a shit. I'm pretty much protected at this point now. I have all her information. If she if she farts the wrong way, I could call investigators and it's weird. Like I'm just not used to that. I'm never used to someone saying here just in case and I'm like, "Oh wow." Because apparently she latches onto anybody for content. Queen of Spades, Beth. Beth Manson. <laughs> All right, here we go. But uh, enough of that uh, ugly cow. Back to this ugly cow. Mad as hell. Yeah, it's bullshit because you spend money on the Uber and then it's bullshit. Yeah, right. Can you imagine if they actually spent money on an Uber? Shanny would be jumping up and down and it'd be the most disgusting thing you ever saw. It would look like the most craziest earthquake that you're like, what is this? A Play-Doh earthquake? <laughs> it, and she's still sitting here thinking she got cancer smoking them cancer sticks. I hate that goddamn doctor. Yeah. <laughs> nice using the Lord's name I in vain. That's what? Pissed. Thank you, Crash. I love you, man. Yeah. yeah, I have appointment scheduled for the 23rd. Dude, it was... It's all been crazy, but like I said, I I, I have papers. I can I can show you them later. I got no problem doing that. It, w it was crazy. At first, I thought... I seriously thought at first it was her or her little buddies uh, trying to like troll me but then when i realized that it was coming from an investigator i'm like oh this this is not just some trolls oh hey raccoon what's up i couldn't take an uber because my phone we we are using an app for my phone number right don't have a normal fucking phone line right Mm, yeah, I'm working go. on getting that. Yeah, I said Uber. I didn't mean Uber. I, me I meant taxi. We you spend money on the taxi, you know? Yeah. It wasn't Uber because we got locked out of Uber because of a phone number. Why is there always bull crap with them? They take texts like that. Why don't they have, like, an email thing instead of, like, You have to lock the number in. Because you have bullshit. Bullshit. It's dumb. Why don't you just get a job? You don't have to worry about this. So we end up going to the fucking doctors. Mm-hmm. And then the secretary comes out and says, we got to have to reschedule for the 23rd. Because the doctor had to go in an emergency. Yeah. He smelled you, can't, uh, Shani. So I sit in there like... Looking at my tits and just... <clears throat> fuck this fucking world. I don't know. They didn't get into any details. So they scheduled me for the 23rd. I could have had one yesterday. Or, to, I mean, tomorrow. I could have had one tomorrow. Why is it always Shani? Uh, 11. But we couldn't do it because we, 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 we scheduled that one first. And then we called the place to get the taxi. And it's got to be three days notice. It's got to be three days notice. So oh! The next appointment is the 23rd. It's got to be three days notice, Shani? Well, that sounds like logistic care PA to me. <laughs> you didn't... You used that. Yo, folks, she's trying to get some clout or, or money or grift... For a service that was free for her, from her Medicaid. 
Because didn't I just say that? I haven't even watched this yet. I'm live reacting it with you. Didn't I just say it takes about two to three days? Yep. Facts. So they could have scheduled me yes tomorrow, but I couldn't get the taxi for it. Yeah, and if it was a regular taxi, you could, right? If you're paying money, you can get a taxi within 10 minutes. Taxis are so fucking expensive. It's insane. And you gotta wait for them too. Oh, forever, because they're like, we're all the way in Scranton, so you're gonna have to wait 25, 30 minutes. Yeah, there's no one in the area. Welcome to life! You, you struggle getting cabs even. It's ridiculous. 23rd is 13 days away, not too bad, yeah. Yeah, it's not too bad. I don't know why he didn't send me to someone else. I hate that fucking doctor. I want a fucking... You want an MD, dude. I want an MD, not a... What is a it? DO, a DO. A DO, yeah. DOs want you out of the office as soon as possible. I mean, I remember having jobs where I had to wake up and had to get my coffee because, you know, it was... I had to get... The, this was the only place to get it. And it'd be like 6 a.m., freezing outside, and I waited in line. 40 minutes every day because I would needed that coffee. It's just, it's what you do, folks. They, they, they're like a train of people and they don't do shit. But when we got home, I got some, I got a cup, one Amazon box. And I got a heating, a heating pad, which is really nice. It heats up really good. And then cough, some gravy, gravy cough food gravy for, the, for the Gavin. Yeah. So, and I was, I'm, I'm just pissed that I have to wait even more. Yeah, maybe look for another doctor. Yeah. yeah. Right? Right? He always puts me off, man. Because he doesn't want to deal with you. Him, what, four or five times Like now? four or five, yeah. Yo, they see you're coming. They talk out the window. <laughs> Whatever. I need you, baby. I'm fucking feeling like shit. <laughs> Should have bought a coffee. Oh, oh, and you know what, man? I had a coffee maker. Um, it's just where I was working, bro. I'm sure you get this. You'll get this being a truck driver. We all went to this one spot, and it made they had this amazing fifty cent coffee back ten years ago, twelve years ago. It was good, you know, and I had to have it. And one of them, like you know, what they call those, like cakes with the, with that, uh, that 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 uh, beige looking icing on it, and tasty cake thing. I can't remember what they're called. I used to have them every day. No, they don't think I'm a drug seeker. Jesus. No. Do they have heat now? That's a good question. You would go to urgent care. Yeah, here's some pain meds and anti-anxieties. Hey, Shamu, what's up? I know it's... I know. Well, they said that that, uh... I'm not calling an ambulance. It's not a... Um, they did say that that guy was coming to the house. I remember them saying that the other day. Uh, I would ask Patty. Patty, do you know, uh, for chance, please, do, do they have... Did that heat guy come around? But who knows how bad they heat the furnace is if it's like leaked all over i have no idea if rev was touching it, it could be broken emergency uh -huh. make like an emergency emergency oh the uncle came to fix it oh thank you patty see patty's awesome patty's my favorite no one fuck rev, with patty yes, they would if she found if she has to see they will find it there that's how they found my husband's at the er hey linda's what's up you know you see how they act at the hospital what are you right? Saying? Five minutes, massive pain, blah, blah, blah. Okay. I have these huge marks on my... You need to go... No, Linda, isn't it better to go online and bitch and moan about it forever to have your sucker audience uh, believe you? You know, like some people. You know what people I'm talking about. I don't even have to say her name. You know, I'm sure her name is right in your mind right now. <laughs> you know exactly what I'm talking about. But I ain't gonna give that bitch any clout. So, let's continue. Go and... Thank you for being here, Linda. To your doctor. It's always fun okay. when you're here. And then we'll give you pain meds and you're gone. Yeah. We'll just get you out quick. It's not like... Can Dimples. We, can, can we get, like, I, I need, like, care. Good luck. The system is not doing that anymore. Hmm. 
Oh, okay. Yeah, they're always yeah. doxing their own like family. So fucking bad. Thirteen fucking days again. Well, we know now for the ride. We, we yeah. Have three day notice. Like we didn't know that. Yeah. Can you do it before the three days notice? Like schedule yeah, it super yeah. early. You could do it like a week before. That's we, we probably yeah yeah ha 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 ha. Yeah. I know, Penny, right? Look at that. Oh, where did you go? All right. It's here. always fucking something with me, man. Hey. No luck for me. No fucking luck for me at all in life. Again, folks, again, I always have to I always have to stress this one thing to all of you. Is this because of the hate she gets? Or is this because she gets off basically on the drama? Or is this because this is just who she is and she don't care? It's one of those three. She likes it or she's become a product of this because she just doesn't trust anyone. And her life has pushed her to be like this. Or it's both. It's got to be one of those. <laughs> it's greasy like cream for my lesions yeah oh hey cindy it's 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 greasy as heck man it's like a pizza <laughs> hey castaway yeah it pisses you off for me well thank you i'm really pissed off yeah i i, I don't have the money for the ride that's the thing oh I gotta do a poll. I forgot. No. No, his uncle's out of town. I already said that yesterday. He's busy taking care of his mother in law. Uh, folks. I'm hoping you guys can help me out with something uh, real quick. I was told to do this one, once I had over 100 people watching me. And I'm going to do it a couple of days in a row because uh, I was attacked by uh, said people I've been saying before. And they said if I made a, a, um, a, a, a poll, if I'm a cool channel or not, I'd be surprised with the results. So I'm going to do exactly what they asked me. So here's that poll and just be as honest as possible. There's no wrong answer here, but you know, I just want to show everybody, you know, that think I'm just, you know, being watched by people who hate me, but thank you. Pissed. Hey man. The fuck is that shit? It's like purple shit or something. What? Ew, purple shit. I gotta see what they have in the mail. <sighs> Fucking sucks. Fucking mucking sucks. Shredded lamb roll ups. Okay. Oh what now? She green cross like it. I don't know. She looks like she's sitting. We have an overflow of man. She looks like she's sitting on like a a, a beanbag chair. An overflow of mail. Yeah. Is that all from post office? <clears throat> it's a package too. Uh, this shit makes me so angry. I don't want to think about that right now. I can't get that. I don't have the money to go to the fucking gym. Oh, thanks, kid. I appreciate it. Right now, 92, you know what? I'll take that. Yeah, it's spam mail. <laughs> Everyone gets spam mail, though. Hey, Taylor, what's up? Can I please not be nabbed? See that? 
because Rev goes, oh, folks, uh, 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 no one could be here. No, you know, no one could help her out. Oh, oh she's going to go. Oh, I'm not going to be mad over this because I couldn't help this shit. I mean, you could have, you could have, you could have planned better, right, folks? She could have definitely have planned better. Find a doctor that doesn't want to just drug test her or, or whatever she has to do. All right, so that one, that one, and then I'll go into one. I guess the the eight hour one, right? Right, right, uh, right, right, Patty. That's the one that you gave me the timestamps for. That the eight hour. Pretty sure. Assholes in this world. And thank you for that. Who's an asshole? I'm an asshole. You're an asshole. We're all fucking assholes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Probably. Silent. Fuck me in the ass. Don't fucking hate me. Don't yeah. fucking give me fucking shit. Yo, and, and adorables. Well, you know what really freaks me out about that? That they're watching. And they then they don't like me. Like how weird is that? I'm sorry, I can't watch. If I don't like someone, I ain't freaking watching them. But they are, and I'm sure they're just like thinking about me and thinking about my voice, especially like, hey, what's up? And they're like, oh my god, <laughs> no, I'm playing. But like seriously, it, it does freak me out a little bit. It's like people who hate watch. Fascinating. Ravens Crypt, come on, man. Fresh Cooter oh, awesome. donated two dollars through Super Chat. Don't Your only fans is better. No, that's not true. <laughs> Thanks, crap. dude. Come on, man. <laughs> Thanks, dude. Don't be saying you're God. You know that's not true. Ravens Crypt, come on. Thank you, bro, for your support. I love you. I don't want shit from people right now. I don't need shit because I'm mad as fucking hell over what happened. No, oh, stop it. Fucking mad as hell. Yeah. Yeah. Bullshit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're right. You're right. Where well, you're right, you know, and again, that's why I love all sorts of people who watch me because even me, I self deprecate all day. I make mistakes. Ty is 100% right. I don't hate watch except, except for Shandy. I'll give you that one, Talia, because you were right. I was wrong. Thank you for correction. Thank you for the correction. Honestly, you know, because it makes me a better person. It's bullshit. Yeah. Well, I know. I got that crash. You know, that was a, a brain fart statement. <laughs> I hate that goddamn doctor. Ravens Crypt. Come on, man. Crash Cooter Coot donated two dollars through Super Chat. Aren't Ravens we all crypt. hate watching on, Shanny? Don't be saying you're God. You know that's not true. Ravens Crypt. Come on, man. Don't be saying you're God. You know that's Thank not true. Thank you, man. Ravens Crypt. Come on. All right. So. I really am. I'm freaking out. I want to talk to my girls. What girls? Like, build me go. up, dude. Build me up, because I'm freaking out. Thank you, Crash. I don't like leaving the house. And I hate going to doctors, and I'm fucking freaking out right now. And you know what? That's where the meat and potatoes comes from this, folks. Um, if you don't... And I hate to keep saying, um, sorry about that. But if you don't know the lore concerning... Rev, Riff Raff over there, you know, from Rocky Horror Picture Show that's claiming to be her boyfriend. His mother started him on this crazy conspiracy, like, hate the doctor path. She made him scared to leave his house. Ergo, why he's a virgin at his age until he met Shani and he was just screwing dolls and torsos and, uh, you know, had problems, uh, you know, w with the, the government looking at him because of what he could or could not do. So my point is, you don't want to do that. If you're sick, you go to the hospital. And who knows, maybe all that with Rev kind of rubbed off on him to Shani. That is definitely a possibility. I think a little bit, 
But uh, even when Shani was taking her son because he got bullied over Shani's OnlyFans at school and picked him up because he wanted to uh, do something to himself, unfortunately, you know, at his age, she still would refuse to get out of the car and said, I don't go into dirty hospitals. So if a person, a uh, quote unquote mother can't go into a hospital over her own for her own kid, she ain't going there for herself. I'm freaking out because I have to leave the house. And I don't like going to doctors, okay? I'm feeling a little vulnerable here. See, this feels like it, it happened backwards. She was like, they didn't do this to me. They didn't do that. And then now she's like, uh, I'm freaking out. I can't go. Uh, which is it? Right? This This doesn't make any sense to me. You have this anxiety too? Yeah. Only fit. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, oh, oh, her only fans. Yeah, Chris. It was. Yeah, it's gross. What time's my appointment? It's soon. I'll be leaving soon enough. I'm a oh, I don't leave unless I have to. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, Crash, you think it's not fear of just going to the hospital but like fear of the unknown is that what you mean like fear of the unknown like what what could be what's wrong with me besides like the obvious of just not washing and being very very obese exactly i hate going i hate going i hate leaving the house i don't want to leave the house i don't like going to the doctors but i know i have to and i'm fucking freaking out Yeah, it is worth it for my health. Like, I was looking at... You, I took a picture of it and put it on my Twitter. Yeah, I, I know. at the one place that I took the other picture for, because I'm just modern then. That's why I'm taking pictures and throwing it on Twitter. But it, it's cankered so much from what it originally was when I first discovered it. And I'm just like... Oh, like thank you, man. Like, my mortality. Like... And I just want to ex uh, explain the uh, memberships real quick. The people who, uh, if you don't have a membership or you never got gifted one here at the, um, at the crypt, you just click on the uh, M, uh, gift looking thing and it'll say accept gifts here. Moral portion is Fanny. <laughs> hey, Rob, what's up? And let's see. Uh, shout out to Granny Grunt, Rowan Page, Sammy Smith, Rich Bridges, and Lucian. Oh, you were got one. Got one, another one. Congrats on the uh, memberships. And thank you, Crash. You are awesome. Everyone, please always thank Crash. He is definitely the MVP at the crypt and he makes me laugh and I love it when he's here. And I love his I envy his uh cool trucks and jeeps and stuff. I want to ride so bad. One day crash, I gotta meet up with you. We gotta go on that semi truck. I don't think I've actually been, I don't think I've ever been on one. That thing is running through my head and like, do I really wanna know? Should I know? Like, do I do I do I want to know what? Wh how far am I? Where am I? Gonna, like, I'm so fucking freaking out. Yeah. Man, that arm. <laughs> Look at that it, arm. It, it it's it's gotten deeper and wider. I guess you could say you could see the difference between the pictures. Morning, Chef Pondu. Mm -mm. No, it's not good. My boobs are being eaten up, and I need like I need help bad, and I need to go to the doctor and get treatment bad. The go to the doctor.
because I'm freaking out because I got to leave the house and I'm agoraphobic and I don't want to leave, but I have to leave because I have to get treated and I don't want to get treated, but yeah, I have to get treated because I don't want to die at the same time. Does that make any fucking sense to you? I don't know. I, it, 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 it does, but coming out of your mouth is, it's always sounds like some BS. And I don't know how you can walk around with arms like that. Like that doesn't like rub against your skin the wrong way. You know, did you ever get bad, bad rug burn? That's what it looks like it would give you, like, really, really bad rug burn. And she's a cigarette smoker. What if, like, a cigarette gets caught in there, you know? So many problems. She can light the whole piss-stained couch on fire. <laughs> oh, Rev's on the phone. Oh, oh, shit. You hear that? Oh. Here, I'm going to try to really listen in on what's going on in the background. <laughs> oh my God, you sound like me. I'm the same way. Yeah, right. We go with Uber, honey. The rates are too high with those other places. Okay. I knew that. Just making sure. I just know it. Should I, I repeat the Lord's Prayer in your head? I guess it seems like he was trying to call their do other doctors. His <laughs> strength, yeah. <laughs> she doesn't walk around. Yeah, I know, Crash. <laughs> I'm freaking out, though. Thank you, yeah. Lester. I figure this appointment is an appointment where they're going to be scheduling a bunch of other appointments, if you know what I mean. I figure that's what they're going to be doing with this one. Well, yeah, they are, but you go there to get referrals. You know, the first time is nothing. See what's wrong with you. Refer to a specialist. That's about it. I don't know what's wrong with going to that initial visit just to get their opinions on where you should go next. And you can always go to a different doctor to get different opinions if you feel that like that doctor didn't know what they were talking about. But yeah, I would definitely think there's some rash going on with these arms. But I'm not sure. <laughs> I don't know what I'm facing. That's the scary thing. Oh, yeah, Scott. Yeah, that's her new thing. Yeah. Not, not surprised. Yeah. No, I didn't wear this shirt yesterday. Yes, you did. <laughs> Liar. <sighs> Rodin. <laughs> you did. You wore that yesterday. You're probably right. That's probably what they will do. But what is moving in the right direction is getting things taken care of. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to be soon, which I, I don't want to say the exact time. Because um, of psychos. But yeah, I am going today. Thank you, Kat. No, I have Jason here. He has a list in his head. He's good at remembering stuff. <laughs> <laughs> He's coming with me. There's no way I can do this alone. Mm -hmm. There's no way in hell I can do this alone. I can't do this alone. Yeah, they'll let Jason in. But I'm, I'm really scared. <laughs> I am really fucking scared, and I know I put on a strong fucking face. Demon gave me the best dick the other day. It was so good. Crash Cooter Coot donated five dollars through super chat. I think I have cancer. Rev, give me another cigarette. Yeah, right. Thanks, thanks, dude. Right, but exactly, you know. And if you're too, if she's too dumb to think that um, if she did have that, that it wouldn't spread to other parts of the body then she's definitely not almost 40 because that's something her age should definitely, you know, worry about, especially at her age. But thank you, dude. Thank you for the support. <laughs> but you're right though, man. I 
She has to be her grandma or like Rev's mom. She can't be herself, folks. And that's the problem. She has to take on everyone else's illnesses. <laughs> yeah, I know, Jack. <laughs> Yeah, thank you, Bello. Yo, Patty, did, didn't Rev dance in 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 the uh, the next video or something? I heard Rev did some sort of dance. Society puts too much value on breasts. You are no less of a woman without them. Thank you. I'm living without boobs. Trust me, you don't need them. Yeah. I'm really scared though, because I know how bad it is. She doesn't know how bad it is. She's not guessing. Healed. We haven't healed in years. Oh, I'm not doing anything about it. I just ain't going to the doctors. And... But like everyone said in the in my last stream, bed sores are a mofo. Bed sores can really hurt you and not go away if you don't treat them, especially at her weight. Who knows how she's sleeping? You know what? I'll, I'll call it right now. I can't believe, folks, that she doesn't have some sort of sleep apnea. A apnea? Yeah, sleep apnea, you know, where she has to wear something for her size. I knew people less than a quarter of her size. Oh, had to wear that. He-Man gave me the best dick the other day. It was so good. <laughs> <gasps> Crash Cooter Coot oh, donated $5 for Super Chat. The best dick Do you the think Rev washes so his good. face after eating Shani's oh. badge and butt? Um... <laughs> Unfortunately, I don't think so. <laughs> because Rev looks like he doesn't wash for anything, you know. Unfortunately, he looks like he's just that much of a sicko that he don't he'd want a flavor saver later. Ella, yo, I just noticed you. I saw you sneaking in the back. What's up? Everybody, Ella's cool. <laughs> What's up, Ella? Going out of the house. Did you find your socks? I do have them on now. Oh, thank God. I found my socks. Yeah. Very good. Thank you. <sighs> I'm just really scared about everything. Oh, uh, well, you and could I don't click. Know where my future is taking me. It's in the uh, this. If you have like some sort of a Apple phone, it um. It's in the description as well. We'll say members. And that's scary. That's scary. Well, you just don't know. And you're freaking the fuck out. That's not grease in Rev's hair. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for the support, guys. Well, you got PTSD, Big Daddy. It's messing with my head, bro. They call me early and I'm doing good, girl, yeah. Eat something before you go in case they keep you. What if they need to do something, though? Do something like what? Yeah, you can't waste time with this stuff, can you? And you know what? I'm talking basically to a chat that I believe has been like myself in life, uh, where they have had to go to the hospital on quite a bit of occasion from a stupid accident that you did or someone else Ravens did. Come on, man. Crash Cooter Coot donated two dollars through that Super Chat. Chat. That's hey, not Chris, grease in Rev's on, hair. <laughs> Thank you. Don't be saying you're God. You know that's not true. Raven's Chris. It's kind of gross on, though. <laughs> Thanks, man. <laughs> oh, thank you, Ella Patty. Petty has just donated nine dollars and ninety-nine cents through Super Chat. I appreciate it, Ella. Um, but what was I saying? See, now now it just brings me out of everything. I don't know. I don't believe her. That's that's the bottom line. I don't believe her and I don't believe a word she says. I think it's just this is just for sympathy. Yeah, Brooke, it is, and I'm freaking out over it. Oh, I'm sorry. I was gonna say anyone who's been to the hospital. Or a doctor, you know what happens. 
So I think it's so interesting that a majority of her audience, I would think, has done, you know, adult go to the doctor stuff before. So when you hear bull crap from, from her mouth, you're like, but that's not how this works. That's not how any of this works. But it doesn't matter to Shani that she wants you to believe that and then give her money to feel sorry for her because she needs her Delta 8 medicine until she can see a real doctor. Because apparently Delta 8 is the cure for cancer in Shani's mind. I'm so sorry, Krista. Be proud you're actually getting it done with. Yeah. That's true. I kept myself a treat. Yeah. 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 Yeah, those arms. <laughs> I can't stop staring at them. All right, which I thank you. I don't want to do this. I, my mom felt the same. Your mom felt the same? Mm -hmm. I think she found out that she was dealing with it, and it's like, okay, and hung up the phone. And just acted like she didn't have it. She couldn't handle it. No. No. She followed up appointments and stuff, but it's like her face was like, just done she with knew. she just that she she that they told her you know i hate this it's scary but it's better to know than not yeah Is it? i don't know now i hate this i hate that shani's using the mother's uh past you know her death trauma the Rev's PTSD, she's using that against him as an own. I hate that. I hate I hate that she would do that. And what is it? Is it once they say that she doesn't have cancer, that it's some sort of rash because she don't shower, then she loses all the leverage that she's getting? Because it, it looks like she's like almost getting off on that, on the on the fact that she can control Rev that much. You know, he. I'm, I'm sure he's wiped her butt extra this couple of weeks. Shoes. Yeah. Awful. Thank you, baby. I love you. I love you. Thank you. Fuzzy boots. You're too cold. Yeah, I'll wear my fuzzy boots. This is a toxic <laughs> relationship. <laughs> my baby. <laughs> <laughs> Well, um, Big Daddy, is she getting SSI or is it more like a temporary assistance type of thing? Like, uh, like, you know, within a few years, because I know like, like actual, like social security disability or social security insurance takes a little while. Whereas she might just be getting $200 Whoa. a month now. 800 bucks. I spent 100. He man gave me the best dick the other day. It was so good. <laughs> Crash Cooter Coot donated $5 for Super Chat. He gave me the best dick Luckily, the other Shani day. Luckily, Shani for so a video good. OD her pegging oh. rev. Oh, well, I, you know, pegging rev. You have, to, you have to ask her. You know, and you know what, folks? We have to ask Shani a couple of questions. Number one question, uh, ask her about, yeah, uh, how much would she charge for her pegging uh, rev? Number two, I want to know if Shani and Rev are going to go to the little cow of Palooza. <laughs> if you haven't heard about that, Neg said that he was doing a, a little cow of Palooza and he, and he wants Shani and Rev to be there as like some of the head little cows. And I just want to know, I, like as a neutral channel, I'm just wondering, would they go? <laughs> Probably not, but you know what? Who knows? But I'm just wondering what they would say. Be a grandma. Yeah. Oh, thanks, Crash. <laughs> uh, this ain't lot. This is uh, this was uh from earlier. Okay, boo. Thank you. <laughs> Shannon, you have to fight the sickness and the haters <laughs> once and for all, all at once. When after this crime <laughs> took on Megatron. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> Star screaming, crying during the signature of Avengers of the Fallen Force. <laughs> 
Is that transformative? Yeah. No, of course it is. I like them. I like people who do that. Those boots remind me of the pigeon lady from Home Alone. I am the pigeon lady from Home Alone. What? I swear, every every time they open up that door or there's a knock on the door, Shani's got the most scared look on her face. Like, this, today's the day. This is it. You know what I mean? It's just like, yeah, live, live, try to live better, you know? Do what you have to do. <laughs> Obviously, there's something going on. If she, she always looks like she's about to jet, even though she can't walk. Me too. Oh, thanks, you, Linda. Thank you. Oh, good night, Linda. Have a good night. Hey, Chai, what's up? It's 10. Oh, that's good. Hope you're having a good time, Charlie. Thank you, Huda. Yeah, we have transportation. Yep. <laughs> yeah, we do. Thanks to the, thanks to the folks. We yeah, do. thanks to the folks. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Well, you know what? You know what, Crash? You know, he want he was saying he's gonna do it for two grand. And I do conventions. You need about twenty to thirty grand to actually get all the permits right and grease the fire marshal and get right security. It it don't it's not cheap, you know. So we'll definitely see. I don't need a fun raising event right now. No, we don't. Don't know what's going on right now. I don't know if I'm going live if I get back home. Maybe depends how I feel. <laughs> Fight like a girl. <laughs> we'll be on pins and needles. <laughs> oh, I wish they had a golden corral here. That would be nice. Yeah, you love that. I love golden corral. They're honey biscuits. Oh, we used to have or honey buns, whatever they are. We used to have one, but it was shitty. Oh, it was not a good one. Oh, I was doing like conventions for like uh, horror conventions because I do work for the, the trauma oh, when I'm, I'm around I or I can help them out, you know, PayPal. Yeah, I was in a few of their movies. Like I got now. Oh, yeah. If you want to donate to Rev Dude at Rev Dude at PayPal. But I like the horror community. They are awesome, yeah. awesome people. So loving. Rev Dude. Believe it or not. Thank you. Yeah, Atomic Lollipop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've heard of that. But like Monster Mania, those. you know, uh, uh, there's always a horror con in every state and every, you know, all over the world. I hate getting out of the house. I know. It's, it's, you've got, you probably have moderate agoraphobia at this point. Moderate. Because just the thoughts of going out the door for someone who's severe, they can't even think about it. I don't even want to think about it. It's so fucking like, I don't want to do this. I know. Or maybe just update on Twitter. Yeah. I have a doctor's appointment tomorrow. I don't like it, but I go. Yeah, I know I have to do this stuff. you got to figure out where you're at. Every... And then make a decision. You know, if you choose to not go for treatments, that's your choice. That's your choice. Well, I guess it depends. Some on boyfriend. What a cuck. If it's a bad <laughs> prognosis, I'm just going to say fuck it. <laughs> we'll go to the beach. Yeah, we'll go to the beach. White beaches, you know? <laughs> all we're doing is speculating, though, Jason. It's all speculation. Yeah, of course. You don't get it. I'm so used to getting nothing but bad, horrible, like, shit. You know, I'm always going to expect the worst because expecting the best is just too disappointing. Yeah. No proof. Yeah, exactly, Sorn. No proof of the claims. I understand to expect the worst, though. As yeah, she smokes, know. right, Charlie? Don't worry, I got that all queued up. I'm just <laughs> you picking out music, uh, Patty. Toys, Desperado. I need to look that. <laughs> probably cool. 
unique toys this but it probably is i like toys okay. <laughs> I, I never get my hopes up either i just wait i believe it when i see it yeah it's too disappointing I know they help call me sorry. <laughs> he looks creepy, Rev. Uh no, this was from before, I'm Jack Joe. Really she always has I don't to like go. This. I don't like this. I don't like this. I can do it, I can do it, I can do it. I don't like it though. <laughs> Boy, they already gave me a remind you reminder the doctor's office. Like, well, we're we're expecting you. Good. <laughs> At this time. Good. That's good. Ha ha ha. At least I don't have to do any paperwork because I've already seen him before. Yeah, you know? go waiting room, sit down. A doctor's office, sit down. She's such a baby. No, that's what you're doing. Yeah, I got just paperwork. Wrestling. He always hits that back leg. Yeah, that's your spot. That's your weak point. I don't know why she never pounces him and like, Yeah. she always just lies there while he's just getting her freaking feet. He's like, I'm a pacifist. Uh oh, he's about to, he's about to do it. <laughs> nope. He's walking away. He's done. He's done. He gets done fast. <laughs> well, like, oh, that's, like, that's a six X. <laughs> it's so cute. And watermelon's like, I want to play more. <laughs> Dread. Dread. So you know what you feel like you know what's coming. Am I right? Yeah, my mom. She's such a baby. Uh, you know? You would yeah, think she, face reality, without having kids, you would have thought like, you know what? She would have learned by now. I'm expecting the worst. That's why. All right, good. Set the bar low. This way you won't be disappointed, right? Hey, NYC. <laughs> you even mentioned the boys at all, right? You're right. Facts. Facts here, folks. What's up with that? What is up with that? They just given up on them. Facts. I'm sorry. I'm NYC. It's all so on that. Yeah. Well, you know Penny. You've been watching him for a while. No. It's ridiculous, folks. No. I didn't. Anything comes to you, to right? yeah. Attention to Chantel to tell you the truth because she's so freaking. She's 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 MIA though. She's missing in action. Like, come she on! Deal with all, the all she cares about is Feudy Beauty. What's about to happen with the doctor? Okay. My mind uh, has been very much having almost flashback type shit. So, I'm sorry. It, my mind isn't exactly uh, trained on anything else but that right now. I'm, it, I'm sorry. Oh. Oh. Father, in the name of Jesus, I ask that my love's diagnosis and prognosis be better than we think that it, it's, it, it could be, Lord. Um, my mom's home with you, Jesus, because of what we're afraid of here. So if you could protect my girl from this and have it all just be Okay, in the end, we'll say that. Um, um, that's what I want, Lord. And if you can do that for us, we'd really appreciate it. I ask you this just humbly, Lord. Just humbly. I, I kind of find I'm finding it hard to even know what to say. But you know what I'm thinking, Lord, and you know that the good people are praying for the same thing here. So get a job, you lazy bitches. Amen. amen. Stop calling me. I blocked your number. Jenny, I read you loud and clear. Oh my god, I knew she was praying to the devils. <laughs> Alright, I gotta go. I need to go. I, I have to go soon, so...
Um, thank you for all the well wishes and everything. The well wishes, because she's a well. I'll try to be back on later. <laughs> but I am freaking out. All right. I'll see you Stop being a baby. Bye, guys. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's uh, let's uh, pal a cleanse for a while, and let's get into uh, this one. Because that was, that was, you know, that was just Shani being full of it. All right, let's find some upbeat music. Oh, that's good. Here we go, folks. Watermelon will be happy when it's warm. I think she's already happy. She's just being a fluke. She's definitely happy. <coughs> I need Rev to start dancing. Jason's like, you want? Okay. Here we go, Rev. <laughs> <laughs> that music kind of goes with it. <laughs> Go, Rev. What do you want, man? That's like a British dude reading, you know? Right? Like that dude on space that talks like this and goes down the corner on my bike and I'm just that dude, right? Yeah. And then he passes out. He's like, I guess so. <laughs> Adderall or something. Yo, he's white boy dancing. <laughs> My camera. It just. Uh, I gotta activate it. There we go. Hey, Tommy, the heat got 60. Is that okay? Or do you want to oh, I hear that, Tommy. Okay. What the hell is he wearing? Uh, his, like, little, like, I don't know. His robe. All right. Well, I think I think that video. I think that's it with that one. Oh, she muted it. She muted it. Uh, Patty, is there anything up? Uh, is there anything else here? Oh no, she's just being dumb. Doctor Pepper is my friend. Oh, they have a is washer it, and dryer there. I'm, I'm not like sure. This. Alley Cat. They seem like they wear the same clothes all the time, so I don't know. You hope they make a Yoshi Doctor Pepper, <laughs> dude. Dude. Yeah, this one cuts <laughs> out because the internet goes out. Okay. You can never find the one liter bottle. Oh, I love the one liter bottles. Well, then I'll go. I'll just. I'll just go into the other one. That's fine. I mean, it wasn't that much longer anyway. All right. So, you said about. Oh man, she was watching their annoying ass Trisha Paytas. Okay, great. <laughs> all right. So I think I got all your timestamps in. 50 minutes in, someone gets a call. And then after this, should I go from 50 into that hour later? Probably. God bless her. <sighs> the name saying I've lied. As if they were there. And anyone who's come to my defense and be like, yeah, something similar happened to me. It's like, oh, it must be Trisha. It's fake. They believe her. That person on social media is so that person. You're fucking sick, Pickles. It's so sick. I don't know what else to do. All I can show is this. One minute, guys. Move. Yo, I'm telling you, folks. <laughs> she does this every time. Either someone she knows come into the house, or if it's somebody that, you know, she don't know if it's 5 0. She doesn't want people to like make fun of her. Be like, ah, look at that little cow. <laughs> So I love that. I, I know I always know there's something going on when she starts muting. 
She, but you know what? In her old videos, she used to not mute, and it was hilarious. That was an aggressive. Yeah, I agree, Penny. Oh, she did that. She did that. Okay, so she does that for. He said about to two ten. Oh, we. Yo, that's when you know. What is she was out? Was it cops? Oh, wait, hold on. There's uh, Rev. We we set the appointment, and we're going to be setting appointments up ourselves. They this woman just really came in and helped us out, and in, in terms of like, call here, call there, boom, done. You know. Oh, hey, Philly guy, what's up? Which is a good thing. Uh, no, this was this was a routine. This was uh, the current caseworker for CPS showing up for the first time. That's what happened. Oh, it wasn't a medical person. What the CPS showed up? Oh, oh, hey, Rev, hey, Rev, CPS shows up. You know what that means, Rev? Gotcha, bitch. Oh, yo, anything else? You're ugly, you're disgusting. I'm gonna kill you. Give me $200. Well, you know what? That's what Dr. Phil thinks about child abusers that had to have CPS knock on their door and then you waiting an hour you left the stream for an hour instead of just turning it off you left it run oh my god it must have been some serious shit you know allegedly like they want me to unify with the boys they just i need to take care of my health whatever you want to tell happen. yourself All good. My God, look, she was so scared. And you know what, folks? It was you, Penny. You said that you were like, "That ain't a regular knock, knock, knock," right? That you know, you heard it. Yeah, you, 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 you friggin', you friggin' heard it. It was not something like you know, like like a friend. It sounded like a police. You know, <laughs> you're like, whoa, I think 5-0 is here or CPS. I'll catch my breath. Give me a minute. And Shani needs to tell herself it's because of her, because of her, her bad mental health and physical health that she can't take care of them instead of reality, which is probably, hey, you're going to sign off your rights to these children because they don't want to be around you anymore. Because you were an awful mother, and they've actually had a really good Christmas this year without you both. Facts. Support his cause. <laughs> I know, Allie Cat. They all want food. It's all about the food. She said, try to call your doctor tomorrow and see if he could get you a referral so to get your mammogram. So I'm going right? to do that. Shaving a haircut, you know? Yeah, the boys should stay where they are at the moment. I agree. No one calls social services. They just came over for a checkup. Um, yeah, I'm glad the boys are in foster care. They don't have to see me struggling. Oh, <laughs> struggling to put her pants on. <laughs> struggling. Oh, my God. But, yeah, and I, I believe that. Well, you know, Shani's actually telling the truth because she has no, no need to lie. And it really... Right now, if someone calls CPS, the kids aren't there. But I know you better believe it that they're going there until, I guess, they close the case and not have Shani be involved in their life, sign off our rights. I mean, remember, all this can go away if she does that. But, you know, then she don't really, she'll never get them back. So I, I'm just surprised that you think she's just giving them the excuse of her her physically, she's physically not able to take care of them and she's doing the best she can. Yo, CPS went to your boyfriend's uncle's house. You're, you don't work. You don't have no, you're not on social security. You're not even trying. You're telling me CPS said, oh, didn't say boo. Wow. I don't know about that folks. Ew, pig. 
Oh, she's going to blow. <laughs> I would hate to see William's eyes and Zachary's eyes. What? You'll see my eyes. I don't want to see that either. I don't want to see anyone broken hearted. I no. just want a normal life again. You know, I would have wished to have gotten those videos, those earlier videos with her with Chris, because I wondered if she treated the same when if she acted like this the last time her kids were taken away from her and uh, her ex uh, husband, Chris, who she was actually married to, got them back for her because he actually had a stable job and, and a house. Ew. Nice. Wow. Good Ew. Gosh. That might, that might, that, that, no, there's no shit in there. <laughs> Yo, he crapped his pants. Well, you need that, okay? Oh my God. Well, good thing you didn't shit your pants. <laughs> no shit in the pants today. That's a positive thing. Yo. <laughs> Ew, that house. It sounded so wet. Yeah. <laughs> Nasty ass. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> I'm so tired. <laughs> did you orgasm, Jason? No, he didn't. I did. <laughs> ha ha. You gotta take that, like Fat Photog or whoever. Like Fat Photog needs to take that fart noise. That was horrible. <laughs> that was a sloppy boy. <laughs> Wipe the couch, exactly. That was gross. <laughs> yeah, I broke the tension with that. So. <laughs> <laughs> you shat your pants in high school during the ACT. That's awful. Oh my god, that's horrible. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that may have happened with somebody when I was taking the SAT. <laughs> they need an emergency bag. <laughs> you know, she would just try to change that around, get a job, anything. Actually, go to the doctor, find out what's wrong with her. Uh, can they flatten my titties that bad? Like, I like that's how much I can flatten my titties. Like, no, it's not. Because your boobs are big. My mom said she had bigger boobs. Hey, Lori, what's up? Yeah. It hurts bad. Yeah. It's if you're bigger. If you're bigger, it's going to hurt. Oh, yeah. Her poo orgasm. <sighs> this will be my first mammogram I ever had. I mean, I figure it's a lot. It feels like there's a lot. A little fucking whatever they are. Yeah, let me move her up a little bit. Well, you know what? That's good to know that uh, that the CPS is actually going there check in or do what they have to do i mean i'm surprised that they wouldn't look at them and say you know you guys kind of fun smell funky but every time they show the other side of the where they're staying where i guess where ref sleeps it's vacuum there's a vacuum still plugged in so i think they've learned you have to have the dwelling cleaned even if you guys don't want to be clean yourselves at least though where you're staying will look okay but like, I'm really surprised what CPS is planning to do here. You know, the one son, he's almost able to phase out and be, and not even have to uh, live Chris, with them. Come on, man. Philly guy donated $2 God, through you know Super Chat. True. My state it taxes Chris, goes to on, this. Man. <laughs> Thanks, man. Don't be saying you're God. You know that's not true. Raven's Crips. Come on, man. Hey, I could be. <laughs> Thanks for the guy, though. I appreciate the, uh, I appreciate the support. Danny, I have had a few, and they are just uncomfortable. Really, they don't hurt that bad. Because it's like my boobs can only, like, I don't know how they can flatten it even more, and it hurts to like put pressure on it. So it's like, well, that's because you lay in bed all, all and on the all, on the couch all day. Constantly having that heavy weight on top of it. 
No shit, it hurts. You know, like, folks, you ever, like, lay on your arm and have, like, a dead arm? You know, she probably has, like, a dead boob. Only last a few seconds. Okay, I could take it for a few seconds, I guess. Yeah, that's, that's the thing. Yes. One, two, three, four, five, click. Yeah. Well, you've got tattoos, too, so. The level of pain is there. Yeah. You had to sit there for five minutes with shit in your pants before the bathroom. That's awful. Mm -hmm. Watermelon! What's the matter, baby girl? <laughs> She's complaining. What's the matter? Hey, baby. Ah. Oh, ah. Like piss. What's going on? You mad, watermelon? What's going on, baby girls? What's going on with you? She's frustrated. Yeah. yeah. Is that so? <laughs> <laughs> You can come up. Yeah. Here you go, baby girl. Go, baby girl. Now all you see is floof. Floof. <laughs> Just black floof. Floof. She's a tribble. Yeah. She is. She's a beautiful, beautiful tribble. Let's see how we go. Little baby. <laughs> Watermelon is a very vocal kitty. Too cute. Very, I know. She's very vocal. She Man, both of them are. If I want to get the hell out of way from you two. Oh, so sorry, Transformers, about that information. I heard mammograms don't hurt like they used to. They have better machines. Ah, oh, right. okay, I, mean, I don't know. <laughs> That's what I was saying. She about. was saying, like, there's 3D imaging now. and Yeah, but they still have to crush it. Yeah. Like, have they, been, have they like, banged like, yet? Uh, I mean, not yet. And get the images they need. I'm well, sure soon. It's, it's, it's 2023, for fuck's sake. I just had mine, and they do still hurt. Okay. And it's probably going to hurt with all the sores on me. You're hurting. Oh, you just... give me a break. I, I don't even want a bra on because they hurt so bad. I mean, that's, that's that, I, I mean, if you got pain, that's. If you got pain, you could just take well, it off. It's one choice or the other, honey. I know. It's like, you know, well, what's bad is it's starting to hurt up here, too. God, look at look. Like, you got, you I know, need you to got... go. You guys see like the. The big size difference between these two, like really, she could hurt him bad. So I think every time when the police have to deal with them, and they're like, "Wow, you're you're saying this guy beat you up, or your kids, and you didn't do nothing about it, even though you're twice the size of them." Now that that kind of sounds sus. Do this now because you're gonna die. Yeah, gonna I know. Die. She's a giant. She is. You might be too old either way. Whatever. We, we don't know. We don't know. Yeah, gr bras were never comfy. He <laughs> looks like a little boy, yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Adorkables. <laughs> a colonoscopy. I freaked out during my colonoscopy. They had no. to on, and for some reason, the fucking... Uh, local anesthesia they gave me was not working so i woke up in the middle of it and i saw inside me i'm like what the fuck is that what the fuck is that and they're like calm down calm down give her some more drugs and then i fell asleep <laughs> i woke up in the middle of it being like what the fuck is that inside you i did what the fuck is that bro <laughs> yeah i'm just surprised that that shandy could smoke cigarettes and but freak out right now about what the doctors might tell her. Like if you're if you're really that scared, why would you still be smoking cigarettes, knowing that that could lead to other cancer? It is a huge too. Same gestational diabetes while pregnant. Now I'm hyperglycemic. Jeez, I'm so sorry. No, I don't wish diabetes on anyone. It's horrible. Yeah. yeah. It's horrible. I couldn't even drink orange juice without getting sick with that stuff. Really? Mm -mm. Nope. Orange juice would be like automatic. Oh, yeah. Dizzy yes, they do. So it's like, nope. But hot damn, it disappeared fast right after I gave birth. I had my kids vaginally normal. Oh yeah, the, the fleet thing they give you for it. 
clean you out when you have a colonoscopy. You will be shitting a lot. Nothing but liquid shit comes out of your ass. No. <laughs> it's just so classy. Pumpkin spice ramen noodles? That's cute. Yeah, it caused me to lose more weight than I gained while pregnant because I just couldn't eat. <laughs> colonoscopy party. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're getting to that age where you're gonna need oh one. Oh my god, get the fuck out of here. You're gonna need one. Get the fuck out of here. You're at that age. I don't care. <laughs> he doesn't want it. He ain't going up my butt. Ha ha ha. You don't feel it. I don't care. I want my asshole to be virginal. <laughs> you want a virgin ass? I want a virginal asshole. <laughs> Yeah, well, you know what, Rev? You ain't gonna have that if you keep on beating up little boys. You'd be going to jail a little more. <laughs> if I get a mammogram, damn it, you're getting a colonoscopy. Yeah, you go quick, kick rocks. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I will support you through every bit of whatever's gonna happen. We'll talk about me if I start having really bad problems, and then if I have to get a fucking tube up my ass, I'll do it. Okay? Eventually, a doctor gonna stick his finger up there. Get the fuck away from me. <laughs> Tip for an ass. Exactly! <laughs> Literally, get the fuck away from me. Wow. You can trust me. I'm a doctor. Oh, 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 oh. Let's get those fingers in there. No. <laughs> get those fingers don't in there. Don't care if you're a doctor. <laughs> get the hell away from that area. <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> yeah, you want to, right? And get paid for it. During my prostate exam, it felt like my doctor was like a redneck noodling for catfish. <laughs> Jesus God in heaven, what? <laughs> <laughs> nah. Nah, man. Uh oh. Uh oh. I was like, no butt stuff. Hey, November. It can put you to sleep, so you're not gonna know. Anything. Okay, I'm not gonna talk about a colonoscopy anymore. Okay? Is, is it too much? Yeah, I'm not gonna talk about it. Fine. Oh, watch a video. Wow, that leg. Holy crap. My back is hurting and this just feels nice right now. Like in the chat, you guys you guys could say like if they're well I think Jules said she sent you something that we should watch. I think. It's just a Yoshi ride. Oh, okay. Well that'd be fine too. But uh I don't know. I'm addicted to the true crime shit. I like the true crime shit and I like the supernatural shit. What was the name of that guy we watched last night, man? What was his name? We watched. Damn. Which guy? Damn it. It was a serial killer story. The guy that was killing people on the side of the road. I don't remember. Oh, he's going to watch them? Well, uh, I would have to look at my history. I'm going to go to the next... Uh, oh, my God. Call Me Kevin 20. just made a video about Steven Seagal. The Fraud and the Furious? What? Yes. <laughs> oh. We're at the doctor's office. Yeah. So... <laughs> Uh, go to a pain specialist? Yeah, I could try that. Maybe he'll do that. Who knows with him. And behavior. Like, last time I asked him, can you get me a prescription so I can get a fucking um, disabled parking, right? Yeah. And I didn't even get that. So, next time he goes, like, oh, he's yeah, square, what's up? I need disabled parking. Tag. I guess I'll wait till she puts the video on. No, fast forward. Huh. And you know that how, Big Daddy? Huh? Go fuck yourself. Big Daddy, rawr. <laughs> Is that you, <laughs> Big Daddy? <laughs> hey, booby. Uh, it hurts on the side. <laughs> Just gave the girls fresh yeah, her life is evil. After picking up the bus, <laughs> thinking of what to make for dinner. Oh, yum. Blueberry muffins? I take... I take some of that. Blueberry muffins, oh. Uh, <sighs> you sound bunned up. Oh, I, I am. Fuck it. Fuck, dude. I've been crying and stressing all day. For this brief time together, I ask you to leave. For no, for no reason. Would... It's like TikTok people are famous now. Twitch star. Lyndon Johnson. Oh my god. Ha <laughs> ha. Well, Ed Guidance is a sick fuck. <laughs> Spaghetti Carbonara? Only 11 minutes, Pete? Is it a video? Of him making spaghetti carbonara? 
I don't even understand why she likes Pete so much. It's like anything to do with Chantel, she's like into. She's like really obsessed. I'm telling you, all these little cows like stalk each other. It's really weird. Oh, Chantel just <sighs> just came out with a couple's vlog. Couple vlog at Dinosaur Museum and Aquarium Plus. Okay. Mission to Planet Sorpo? Yeah, how you doing? What? <sighs> Today's episode of the Y Files is brought to you by Established Titles. What? This, this, this. Okay, I saw one video with this guy yesterday, and this dude is kind of weird because his fish talks. His what? Has a character in his videos. Pete, what's he up to? Making spaghetti carbonara. Chantel needs to go home. Yeah, I'm not gonna watch any Chantel or Salah videos. Jason, first of all, he would not approve of it. He, like, she really pisses him off lately. I heard that BBJ is sick. She needs to go home and take care of her animal. And stop worrying about this fucking guy. She's gonna really regret it if BBJ dies while she's, like, in Kuwait. She's gonna regret it. I love that she cares more about Chantel than her own life. Fishcocks. <laughs> BBJ Did she say fishcocks yeah, well, to her? I heard she had a seizure. Like I couldn't, I couldn't stay away from my cats that long. I love my babies. I love my babies. Like I. Yeah, it's just not your ba not just not your kids, right? But your cats. Yeah, I know. She talked a few times about putting BBJ to sleep so she could travel. I heard that. That was gross. Like really? You're gonna. Most of us would go be with our pets. Well, yeah. I just, I. It's not yeah. my business. It's her life. <laughs> and that's it's how it always is. You know, it's all about someone else's cats or somebody else's life instead of her own or her own kids. It's awful. Awful. Please like the stream, folks. <laughs> she drinks the poison she makes. That's on her. Yeah. Thanks for chilling. I, I just, I just, I just, I don't get her. I don't get her. I used to think I got her. I used to think I got her. And then FFG is trying to help Pete with BBJ. He doesn't know what to do. Oh, no. Oh, no. Can he take her to the vet? Can he get like a like a cab and take her to the vet and get her checked out? I did also when she was funny, but now she's dangerous to herself and others. He can't. He doesn't have any money. Oh no. Yeah, I'm now sure she states she's agoraphobic. Which she never said, stated like, before. Shit. I would take BBJ to the vet. And what if they recommend euthanasia? She can't put him in that position. Yeah, I know. Yeah, because so much shit with the LGBTQ that I don't think many people are willing to help him. I don't know. Oh, my God. But it's the cat. It's not Pete. It's not for Chantel. It's for the cat. Like, if she had a stroke and she's having seizures, she needs to be seen. Oh, poor BBJ. She's such a sweet baby. There is a vet within walking distance and he should just fuck it. Just, like, ask Chantel for the money and go. He said he already did ask her for money, and that was a month ago. 
How does she know all about Pete's cats and stuff? I mean, she must really be you know the ins and outs of all their lives. Well, G-Man said that. It was like nothing about Chantel or Pete's all day. And then us channels. She should be sending money for the vet for her cat. It's her cat. She should be responsible for it. And she's like, no, I don't, I'm not giving any money to go and take care of my cat. Just let her die and suffer. What a oh. cunt. That is so horrible to do to a cat. No, I don't care. Even if I didn't have money, I'd bring that cat to the fucking vet and be like, I need help. That's what I'm saying, Chatty. It's, it's a little stuff like this that we wanted to talk about. Not not like just reading her in her videos. You're hurting this cat. Like, so, Foodie Beauty, take care of your freaking cat. I'm calling you out. I'm calling you out. Your cat needs your fucking help. The, so you want to they go all the way back from to Canada from Koi uh, for a cat? Take care of your cat. I mean, why can't Pete's do it? I, mean, I don't really know that much about your, it. The, the cat you had for 20 years just suffer and die. You can't do that. FFG already offered Pete's money, etc., to get BB. Then he should accept it. Yeah, I'll move her up to 605. Like everything becomes fuzzy in their mind when they get overstimulated. See, this is what happened. They get high on this Delta 8, and then instead of watching this stuff half the time, they just go off on these tangents, folks. So that's why it's great when you guys are here. This way we can laugh and entertain each other. So? Like, ha, huh, Shani beat him. <laughs> yeah. Pizza's dumber than a box of rocks and self. Yeah. Oh, so he could get a ride to it, too? He should just take up that offer and do it. <laughs> yeah. For the cat's sake. Yeah, especially if he could get a ride, okay? Yeah. Wow, they're still talking about maybe that? Maybe it just seems too overwhelming for him. Holy crap. Know how, like, you know how Zachary is when he gets overwhelmed. He shuts down completely. He shuts down completely, oh, exactly. Completely. Maybe Pete's the same way. I think he gets rage. And then probably shuts down. Probably. Damn. Well, maybe people can just be a little bit more gentle to him and try to just persuade him in a gentle way and not... Make it seem like it's nagging. No, judging by his reaction, okay, PB Jones is okay. Yeah. And he's like, just drop it. There's no need for her to go to the vet or nothing. It's okay. The cat's okay. She's fine. But she's very old, and she should probably be going to the vet on a much more regular basis, right? I would assume. she's so old. She's old. So, I mean, she should go to a vet, you know? Yeah. <sighs> yeah, it I... might be too overwhelming for him. It might be. It very well could be, but judging. I just can't five, believe seven by five. I can't believe they can go that well that far into just talking about this cat. Box for five days. What? No lights, no way to communicate. Only a small. Yeah. That's one thing. I'd love to be impregnant. I love, <laughs> I'd love to play with your feet. You were in me. It was so fun. Yeah. You grab your foot and they take it away. And then you grab your foot again and then you take it away. Yeah, no, I don't yeah. touch. It's so cute. <laughs> Am I the only woman who played with their baby's foot feet when you were pregnant? I did. I, I, I always did. I love that. You see the big footprint come out. That's amazing. I mean, I don't know. That seems weird to me, but I never had a baby in me. We need to step it up a notch. But I can understand. <laughs> How do we step it up a notch? I don't know. My my life is already crazy enough. I mean, people, women who had kids always told me if they had like if the baby was moved the wrong way, it would hurt real bad to try to move it so it doesn't come out like you know breach or something. shows that'd be awesome we don't have the technology for that yet or the setup someone offers him oh yeah more 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 maximum profit well if, if pete's you know if they think that that's in the best interest for the cat and that pete's is not able to do it i mean i i guess i can understand that it's maximum profit especially if it's maximum not his cat right. think like a ferengi that's right <laughs> I think my new model in life, for the most part, huh. my new model in huh. life is, aside from following Jesus, of course, 
would be uh, do your best to be more like Cork. He's smart. Moogie. No, that's Nog. Or fucking Rom. I know. Rom. I want my boys to call me Moogie. Moogie. <laughs> that's cute. They would. You know they would. Yeah, they would. already call me Moom. Yeah, you got to show them that, that episode, though. Oh, my God. They'd love it. And then they'll get it. Moogie. They'll start calling you Moogie. They would. Yeah, I think they would. It's cool. Definitely Zach. <laughs> yeah, oh, my God. That's guaranteed. William, I mean, he'd still say Mom, probably. Well, when's that going to happen? Will proper. Zachary calls me Mama still. Yeah, Hi, Mama. Mama. Oh, my God. Mama. So, so freaking cute. I know my baby. That's adorable shit. I'm sorry. I'm gushing over my kids. Oh, well, when baby. you talk to them on Zoom. I did get good news from, you know, today over them. So. Yeah. Yeah. Reunification is close. <laughs> reunification Re oh my god Reunif reunification how how would you be reunificated <laughs> or be reunification if you haven't gotten a job you guys are just like squatting basically at his uncle's house revs trying to maybe get that so he can get it back but you still have to pay the bills and i don't know if you make enough on twitch to do that and also pay the taxes I mean, there's a lot that's going into here, which I can't see you guys here long term. So how are you going to be reunified if you f physically and mentally can't take care of them? Yeah. They don't want to return to its body. And you know what? I can't believe that Shani will even allow those kids near Rev after what he did. It's that they can't. The doctor confirms this and says we're using him. McKeever asks what he means. The doctor... <laughs> Bad dude. <laughs> he was in spaced as... Come on. You're expecting me to remember his name in the show? The Lord of the Rings. Oh, Frodo. Frodo. He calls him Frodo? No. His uncle. Oh, hey, Pew Pew, what's up? Yeah, yeah, his name's Bilbo, right? Bilbo. Just hanging Bilbo. out. There you go. Play, okay. On Space. Guys, we gotta watch that show again. Yeah, we gotta watch Space again. It's been too long. I love me some Space. You, you should get a link for people to watch that show. You really should. People need to watch I have that. no idea who any of these fuckers are. <laughs> okay, well, hey. I mean, Leon Trotsky, but this dude, I, I, I know. know. What's Spider up? One of the newer Spider-Man. Okay, Man. Right, I don't know. Yeah. Oh wow! Oh, that's that's, oh, wow. that's it. You got that. Wow! <laughs> oh god, I'm watching these. Uh, you know, it's uh, what is that called? A pareidolia, where like your brain uh thinks they see faces and everything. I think that's to me almost something similar to that, where you see a pattern. Where it's like, yeah, that's close, but not that close. You can tell this woman does not look like, uh, who's that supposed to be? Oh, Maggie Gyllenhaal. Yeah, no, I don't see it. Oh, she's even got the funky eyes that she has. That's it's very <laughs> funky eyes. Look yeah. who's talking. Like, that's <laughs> close. That's very close. She's just chunkier there, you know, than as Maggie Gyllenhaal. Yeah, dude. That's, that's a good, yeah, there you go. Your boyfriend. He's my boyfriend. I'd love Keanu to be my boyfriend. He would. He'd leave me for Keanu. <laughs> no. <laughs> I wouldn't blame him. I'd be like, "That doesn't look like Keanu." <laughs> That's ridiculous. You know, what trumps everything? You have a vagina, okay? Yeah, but Keanu's. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> oh, <okay>, Keanu. <laughs> You're keeping him for the cyberpunk thing. Ah, uh, I don't know what's going on with that. It's gonna be brand new shit, I guess. That was fun, but that explains the cloning, man. They're clones. Two thousand years of all these fuckers. That's insane, right? Avril Lavigne. That's just two pictures. Of Holy Avril shit! Levine. That looks just like fucking Queen Latifah. Yeah, that's real. You know, folks, I worry about how many people out there that actually believe this stuff. You know, <laughs> and you know, Renee always says there's about like twenty percent of people out there, or ten percent of people who think that chocolate milk comes from a brown cow. Oh my god, she's a clone, dude. Damn. Queenie is a clone, dude. That's why she's so tall. That's it? <laughs> Busted. We know now. Now we know. I wonder how close their DNA would actually be if they had both of the matches. Yeah, right? Yeah. Right? <laughs> no, I can't watch Madonna. No, that's copyright shit, dude. No, I ain't doing that shit. Uh-uh. Spanish lullaby. With the humans in prison, or worse, McKeever knew there wasn't much he could do about it. We were only 11 military personnel. We had no way of fighting the Evens. We did not come 40 light years to start a war with the Evens. A war we could not win. We did not even win a simple fist fight with Evens. We'll get DMC. We <coughs> so with the help of Eva 2, the doctor agrees that 308's body will not be used anymore. Not that it mattered much. The doctor said all 308's blood, organs, tissue... And oh, everything of Madonna is weird now. I don't know what's going on with her. No, she shaved her eyebrows. It's like she's got some kind of weird spirit in her or something. She's going through but something. But she does that. But then again, at the same time, she does wonderful <laughs> charity. 
in, in Africa. No, but I'm saying she so, goes, like, oh, so she can be weird. Her. She <laughs> does do wonderful charity for the people in a, in Africa. So like most people don't give a fuck about that shit. No. Ever since a Brazilian butt lift, it's all over with. Yeah, that's right. You see her ass. It doesn't even look normal, but that it's Madonna. No, I don't shave my fucking eyebrows, bro. No, I did shave my eyebrows because uh the punishment, but I got eyebrows, dude. Punishment. I, I got eyebrows. Yeah. Wow. I don't do anything with my eyebrows, actually. Mm -hmm. People are like, you're so lucky to have eyebrows like that. Yeah. It's like, Folks, that is a toxic relationship you're in if you're getting punishments for doing something that he didn't even do. He didn't cheat. Why do you have to do that again? What made him feel so guilty? You're pretty. You got a perfect arch and you don't really need to do nothing. Thank you. Yeah. Pretty good. Oh, I did? Uh, give, me, give, me, give, me, give me the uh, creatures. Give me the time. I think you said... Oh, yes, six twenty nine, right? Yeah. All right, we go back to that. This technology. Allegedly. Right. Now that they're finally on the planet, McKeever requests the body of team member 308 so they can give him a proper burial. Evil One takes McKeever to a building that looks like a medical facility. An even doctor meets them at the door. He speaks English almost perfectly. McKeever says he... Wow, they speak English, too. The Evens. Most people speak English. It's like a race name for Evies. The Evies. I guess so. They're greys. Yeah. Fucking greys. But they can't tell the sex. No. How do they mate? And they eat feces and stuff. How do they mate? I don't know. Remember, if, if you can't tell the difference between the sexes, how do they mate? Like, do they are they like reptiles and have like a cool wafula or something like that? I have no idea, man. I'm not down on alien genitalia. You know? <laughs> Vaughn would know. Vaughn is good with horse genitalia. That's true. What? Damn it, I know. Ew. Why do they intimately know that so well? That's gross. Good horse vagina when I see it. That's a pretty one. And you know, it's, I love Skyrim and everything, but the, those female horse vaginas are just not looking right to me. They're not accurate in proportion or, uh, how would you say it? Depth. Oh, foul. <laughs> yeah, and that's the problem with weirdos like Red. They're here looking up every type of beastie thing <laughs> you can think of, you know? The most dirtiest stuff. I'm sure Rev has seen it. Ew, that creeps me out. <laughs> it doesn't work for me, so I'm making a mod. So uh, everybody's got to download that mod for, for the correct horse vaginas. How could someone <laughs> get that obsessed over... Oh, they're talking about aliens horse. talking He's English. He's really into Skyrim, though. Oh, God. He was God. into modeling even the women's clothes and shit. He was making women's clothes and stuff, like dressing up his wife and stuff. Okay. Uh, folks, if you're all still here, thank you all for being here. And please like and subscribe. <laughs> okay he's pretty into it you know should have been into taking care of his children oh my god yeah i guess that's true what look who's like, talking no, i am taking care of my children still fuck you uh, what the fuck you 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 clotheslined him you clotheslined him fuck man clothesline i never closed on my kid and i have a boy and he's an adult like my, my god you sicko i'm just sick yeah wants to be away his body even Doctor's confused. He says, you can't have him. McKeever says, give us our man or we'll take him by force. Eva too jumps in. She says, it's not... Well, FB has a scary reality here in Canada. And uh, have a great night, man. To return to Kuwait anytime soon. Two years bankruptcy at least and fines or prison for getting payday loans. Live streamed it. Not so smart. I'll see you, bro. Hey, Missy, what's up? Oh, my God, really? Maybe she should go back. <laughs> she might want to stay in the Kuwait. US. Go to the U.S. instead. Yeah. Yeah. She's worried... US. She's worried about them going into uh, one of that mammogram machine. I figure you got enough there. They won't get any worse. <laughs> A booty beauty bees in the U.S. Yeah, we like immigrants here. U.S. bees. Hey, Moon Pair, what's up? Anyway. Yeah. Oh, we still love immigrants. <laughs> <laughs> what we like is legal immigration. That's what we yeah, like. Yeah, Shady, so her spot's open. Don't fuck it up. I'm trying not to. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Planet Circle. Take the crown. Fat girl crown. Oh. Fat girl crown. <laughs> Fat girl crown.
<laughs> He's laughing. <laughs> so our queen needs to be making 30 grand though. That's what we want. We want yeah, the queen needs to make 30 grand so I can invest that shit. Yeah. So when I die, my sons can have <laughs> yes. hella money. Exactly. That's correct. That's the goal. Of course. That's the goal. Mom left you with $3 million. Ah, that's ah, it. There see? you go. That's it. That's, that's great. That's $1.5 million per head. Yep. That's it. See? Yep. And it'd be like, take care of your brother, William. Exactly. <laughs> that's all. That's right. That's what you want. Yeah, because mom can't do it. I know. He yep. loves that. Yeah, absolutely. They're going to be very close forever, I think. They're my babies. Yeah. What they I... did and tied my, my tummy. And I used to play with their feet in my tummy. And what I see, <laughs> what I see in them, they, they have stuff right. and stuff, but they're always still close. That's one thing. I loved being pregnant. I loved, I loved playing with their feet when they were in me. It was so fun. Like you grab their foot and they take it away. <laughs> and then you grab your foot again and then you take it away. Like again. You know what? She probably loved that more than actually taking care of them. It, it's so cute. Am I the only woman who played with her baby's foot, feet when you were pregnant? I did. I, I, I always did. I love that. You see the big footprint come out. That's amazing. That's incredible. We need to step it up a notch. What? How do we step it up a notch? I don't know. My, my life is already crazy enough. They speak so quietly. <laughs> Actual shows that'd be awesome. We don't have the technology for that yet, or the setup. Mm. You already have your ride and dies. Now you need to pull in more, 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 more maximum profit. Maximum profit. Maximum profit. Right. Yeah, that's right. pretty long. <laughs> I think my new model in life, for the most part, huh. my new model in life is aside from following Jesus, of course. You know, and folks, I still can't believe that. CPS just like went there and who knows if they knew about it or if they didn't. If they did know about it, then that means you know it didn't bother them to be live streaming that whole time. You know what? Did CPS even know? Did you think they she said, by the way, I have people waiting for me. I'm live streaming like right now, getting money on on Twitch, just having it sit there do nothing. I'd be like, wow, that's really uh Lol cowish. <laughs> you know, like, it's weird. Like CPS was right there. They could have said, you know what? Maybe you need to find a real job. You just sitting here doing nothing is probably making you worse. Just sitting around, not even standing, or try to stand up and you know move around a little bit. Would be uh do your best to be more like Hork. He's smart. Moogie. No, that's not or fucking I know. Rom. I want my boys to call me Moogie. Moogie. <laughs> that's cute. They would. You know they would. Yeah, they yeah. already call me Moon. Yeah. Yeah, you got to show them that, that episode, though. Oh, my God. Oh, they'd love it. There I was. Moogie. They start calling you Moogie. They would. I'm going to go back up here now. Definitely Zach. Because I heard that one. Right? That's a great movie. It's fucked up, though. Yep. That fish and his joke reminds me of the movie Joe's Apartment. Yes! I love <sighs> Joe's Apartment. And Hate that voice. Yes! And... The fat kid from Stand By Me, uh, Jerry O'Connell. <coughs> oh, what? Is she saying that she was a witch? It was. <laughs> Our vegetarian, but the humans wanted meat, and there were animals on the planet. As I mentioned before, the Evens allowed us to kill the beasts for meat. It, it isn't really bad. It's weird. Who, like who bear, does that? But Evens you know, CPS usually doesn't go there for doctor's appointments. They go there for that case. And whatever they gotta do to like get them to sign off their rights. She's saying reunification, which I, I am shocked that they don't even care if she has like a real job or a place to, to live, a place to call their own. Look at us very strange when we eat meat. They allow us to do just about anything we want, and eating meat is something we need for the protein. We use the last of our salt and pepper, which does make eating their food more of a challenge. They even don't have anything similar. They do have an herb, as we oh, call yeah. it, something like They're oregano, dumb. which they use. <laughs> it has a tart taste, but we have developed a taste for it. The Evens don't use money. All Evens are required to work their assigned job and contribute to the community. There was a council of governors that controlled every single activity and every minute detail of the Evens' lives. Food, clothing, furniture, everything is supplied. The Evens go to a central distribution center and make a request, and we're given anything that they need. You know, I notice every time we do an alien story, they turn out to be hippie communists. Or maybe it's a better way to <laughs> Yeah, benefit of people in charge. Uh -huh. The Evens noticed they were getting a heavy dose of radiation from the two suns, and the heat was unbearable. It was consistently 100... Yeah, if she does, did have yeah. a seizure, she does need to be yeah, checked I'll out. Yeah, move her up a little yeah. bit more. She, yeah. If a human has a seizure, you need to get checked out. Yeah. 
like I said, most of these videos are just so like blah 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 blah. Like Harry said, they just kind of all mold together. You know what I mean? But uh, usually you can like kind of uh, you know, you pick the best of the of the whole long ass stream. I feel like it varies a little bit how well she handles the stairs. Sometimes better than others. Oh my God! What's wrong uh, with space? Yeah, I see that. Oh! It's deep. It's deep. I see nothing to indicate that she is not. Oh. Uh, so, Spaghetti Carbonara, is basically just a sweet and sour spaghetti, eggs, and cheese, and bacon. Spaghetti, cheese, eggs, and bacon. You know, like, Chantel, she definitely has a type of man. I'll say that. You know, there's definitely a type, folks. That's how you make a spaghetti carbonara. Yeah, I know. It's just a filter, but it's funny. It's funny to me, anyway. Yeah, I would not trust that man with a sharp knife. Why is he using a steak knife to cut onions? <laughs> That's what he'll uh, ask. Maybe his hand placement. Well, no, I find a steak knife to cut pretty well. That's so dangerous how he's cutting those onions. Why were you boiling? Or why were you frying noodles <laughs> that aren't supposed to be fried? Oh my god, he's gonna cut his fucking finger. No shit, you're gonna cut your fucking finger. No, it's because you're cut your fucking finger. She's not suffering. I've seen cases of that she's suffering. Like just yeah, she is fine. He needs a chopping knife. God, why are you doing that, dude? Oh my god, show that to Gordon Ramsay. He's got issues though. Like he holds the like that. She does start to show Will Marley here. I'm keeping my honor. I'm keeping my honor. If it starts to seem. <laughs> oh! like... So just just uh, to know, uh, basically, uh, Foodie Beauty still lives with Pete's, right? Technically, I mean, yeah, she's married in Kuwait, but. They were living together, and when she went to Kuwait, she kind of like left all her stuff with him, including her animals. Is that right, folks? Oh, gee. Imagine this is custody. Yeah. Call in a fucking vet. You know when when they when they said that uh that it took three days to get a. A, 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 a taxi to drive them to the place. I knew they were using the state, you know, the logistic care Pennsylvania uh, service that, you know, goes to the Medicaid because otherwise it doesn't take three days to get a taxi. Honestly, she honestly doesn't Especially if you're paying for it. Just shut the fuck up, people! For fuck's sake! The cat is fucking fine! Jesus <laughs> fucking Christ, the fucking people are just goddamn idiots! <laughs> Yo, isn't it crazy that they can watch somebody else freak out and look at them and go, wow, what a crazy weirdo? And you're like, what? <laughs> Ain't that the pot calling you crazy? Shut the fuck up! Hey, Just leave it. Just fucking drop it. Just fucking drop it. Drop the fucking thing. Just fucking drop it, all right? Well... Oh my god, body parts. <coughs> Holy uh, shit. He just, I know like, a little bit, Scott. Just leaves. I get that shit, though. Yeah, because really you do, do that. <laughs> you do that all the time. I don't want to deal with this. People don't believe me. People mess with him. They think it's funny. It's messed up. I agree. They do the same to me, too. And you know what, folks? To first have, have shade that one video where she's just like, I'm mad. You know, I don't even want to talk about this, blah, 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 blah. And then have a video, like, shortly before or after, I think after, saying that she was scared to go. That just showed me that she never wanted to go anyway. Because if you did go, why are you scared to go now? This is sad. I feel bad for Pete. I really do. Because he was put in this fucking position because Foodie Beauty's selfish. <clears throat> Let's see. Can we find something? Most delusional company ever? Wizards of Coast? No. <laughs> no. One of my favorite companies. I know, right? Right? 
The sun is not a star? Aw, oh, yeah. The sun. There we go. We get an alternative theory of what the sun is. Ah, uh, no thanks. <laughs> I know that'll be more crazy bullshit. And I have uh, argued with Catholics about that before. About that. all... That's debate. Oh, I mean, so let, me, they, let me hear that. Started in 500 AD by Constantine. <coughs> the emperor of Rome, Constantine. That's when the Catholic Church started. Ah, uh, incorrect. No? Yeah. Incorrect. The first the first pope was Charlemagne, honey. Yeah, but he started the Catholic sect, per se, and moving it in that direction, if you look at the history. Who? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I love that. He's like, he's like, says something, and she's just like, no, that's not true. And then he's like, who are you talking about? I don't know which one of them are true, actually. Yeah. yeah I just don't believe that. anything Shandy says. That. He was the first, em he was the emperor of Rome. Guess, guess, guess what the Vatican's pretty much. The Empire of Rome. Anyway. No, but the Catholic, uh, no, but the Catholic Church claims the first pope to be Peter. Yeah, so. They do. It's all bullshit. And I have argued with Catholics about that before. Don't do that. That's debate. And debate is reprobate. I think the, the start of the most evil thing ever on the planet is the start of the Holy Roman Empire. I'm not going to have no threesome with Chantel. Ew. Jesus God. Do you realize that this woman has, like, the hottest uh, cosplay chicks that you can imagine hit on her? Why the hell would she... Who did, who did they just say? Because I just looked it up, and it says Augustus was the first emperor of Rome. So they're they're both liars. ...and stood down. And this prophecy is of two popes, <laughs> and it reads, Higher. I also saw the relationship between two popes. I saw how baleful would be the consequences of this false church. Constantine was the... Oh, they said false church. And what first was that? Christian the emperor. Okay. The church... The, well, the pope admits the church has fallen. Yeah. Wow. Dude. Yeah, I mean, where I'm really going to myself, where's Jesus? Okay. He's got to be so close. Yeah. Because right? it's over. The church is... Look at all this opulence. The church has fallen, and they say it in the new... So, I mean, she's sort of right. She's the, he's the first Christian one, but not the first ever. So that makes a difference. There was, but between that guy Augustus and Constantine, there was uh, another guy. There was another guy uh, Claudius as well. So I don't know for anyone who actually want to be a history buff or something. You know, we always gotta make sure she's telling the truth, folks. And it was like CBS. Look at this stupid opulence. All this gold could go to the poor and feed them. We're on whose side? Jen's side? No, she Who's Jen? herself to that shit. No. No. I like my man. I'm satisfied. Whoa. No, but if you were doing like shit, you know. Oh. You have to Google opulence. Riches. Uh, yeah. It's another word for bougie. Riches, yeah. Opulence is bougie. Yeah. Yeah. Opulence. It, that's a very good synonym. Yeah. Yeah, you're correct. Yeah. Okay of every kind came into the city of Rome. The local clergy grew more, and I saw great darkness. I see that the false church of darkness is making progress, and I see the dreadful influence it has on people. The Pope and the church are verily in so great a distress that one must implore God night and day. So again, a very interesting prophecy to hear, considering 150 years after that prophecy was given to Anne Catherine Emmerich, but that's pretty much exactly... They're okay. moving up a little bit. The term Jesuit, it's not going to be the same as to what they actually are, okay? What you'll hear today is that the Jesuits are just, a, they're astronomers, basically. They look and you know what? And they study the, the heavens. I can actually say now seeing, uh, now you know, actually seeing uh, that Shani was a little bit right, not fully right. I think that's what her thing is about uh, religion and stuff. That she's probably read some stuff, but drugs and everything else allegedly is messed up her head, where things kind of get confused. And it, there's not exactly the way she should say it, you know, like she did. She should have said a Christian emperor instead of just emperor, just the first in the first place. You know, there, that is a big difference. That's what you're told. To and, I, and it's the same thing with anything else. When she talks about religion, she always kind of gets it like screwed up. You know, she's like maybe like 75% right with their statements. That is, what it is today. That is not accurate to what the or maybe 60 represents. <laughs> The, the oath. If you look the look up the extreme oath of the Jesuit order, and you can you can read what they have to. It's like a blood oath. Okay, they're like the Pope's CIA. Okay, they're like. The I'll explain it this yeah. way because maybe you'll understand. You remember the movie End of Days with Arnold Schwarzenegger? Yeah. The guys, the the religious guys that were yeah. attacking the girl. She twists things. They were Jesuits. Thank yeah. you. Yeah, you got that's it. Certain things they do. You know, like the secret service of the papacy. Yeah, and they take an oath to the Pope. They did. They Jesus. did know G-Man long ago. Not God. 
because that's what they want you to think, that they have an oath with Jesus Christ, because it's the order of Jesus. They call themselves the order of Jesus. You're thinking of the Opus Dei? Opus Dei. Yeah, Opus Dei is different. They're a totally different order. But they are part of Catholicism. And they do, they do, they take the fucking things, the thing around, and they, they self-flagellate, and they, they, they have that cuff on the top of them that they, they, they're into self-mutilation for the sake of Jesus. Yeah. Which, he wouldn't want that for them. Yeah. He took all that for them. Like, that's ridiculous. But to you know what? I thought that's what Rev was it was doing when he first got to his shanty. He was whipping himself, or he was making her do it. Wrap up the Jesuits. They're literally they take an oath to the person who kills. <laughs> they're they are uh, like a military branch, you could say, but like more like the CIA. They're they're most like the CIA, like an intelligence okay, gathering so organization that takes an oath to kill for the Pope. Yes, they're like the Knights Templar. I, yeah, very uh, similar to that type of stuff. Ah, uh, the Templars, man. I don't know why they don't say, "Hey, you ever hear of Dan Brown? Uh, what is it called? The Da Vinci Code. Go watch that series." I mean, right there, everything you never need to know about that. See, you get me you get like messed up stories with the Templars. Some say they're satanic, others say they're yeah, right. <laughs> Their main mission was to protect pilgrims. Yeah, in the Middle East. So that's a totally different order. Yeah. The Templars are completely different. Yeah, they don't exist anymore, though. No, they were killed off. Yeah. But, uh, See, again, right there. That's not true. That's not true. The Templars were there. They were basically like the first banks. Like, you are going, like, on the, uh, what they would call, like, the Silk Road. You would give them all your gold, and they would give you, like, a piece of paper. It was an I, like, how there's, like, a, an S on your thing. It was, like, the insurance script. A promise to give you the gold when you got to the other side of the road. You got there, you gave a piece of paper, they gave you the gold back. It was the first banking ever way. And now people forgot that and they gave their gold and silver in for this money that's only really cloth paper as well. But, you know, that's for another day, folks. All I know is I, I would really love to know exactly what's in the Vatican Library. That's all. Oh. I, okay, I, there's, hey, so, Ronnie, there's so much there. The books that they have from the Library of Alexandria. Yeah, that's it. You would just oh. be there drooling. I, oh, 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 oh. Knowledge. oh, I get off on that. Like, you have no yeah. idea. The Vatican yeah. Archives, oh. Please don't. Yeah, but they still, <gasps> they don't open that shit. They, they don't. <laughs> oh. Just porno mags. Yeah, information porno. Oh, yeah, info porn. That's a term. <laughs> I just made up something like info porn. Take that, Alex. Vatican City. The God, how do we get from else. that to also that? Many other things about mystery. You know? That was short. <laughs> oh, well. You could find her. That's what you said about Rev. That's way too fucking interesting. See, her face doesn't look exactly... <laughs> no, it doesn't. It's, she is gross. She is her. gross. Okay. Paranormal demonic poltergeist. The Pelagia. It was an ordinary day in southern India, and at the home of the sub magistrate for the town of Nidamangalam, clothes had been laundered and left to dry in front of the fire. When one of the family's children, lying in their cradle upstairs, began to cry, the women of the house rushed to. Kind of boring. Alright. Well, God's sake. Water was thrown on. Yeah. She's good when you want to go to sleep. That I would agree with that. Yeah. Oh, ha, ha. Beyond Evil, the story of Lawrence Bittaker and his accomplice Roy Norris. The toolbox killers. No, it's rape. I don't want to see that. See, that's it's. Rape. I don't want to see rape. And those stories are so rough, dude. They really are. They, they, they kind of. Oh, oh, oh obviously. Rape. That's true. <laughs> they should have trigger warning, like for real. Uh, on the, yeah, uh, like all of them. The most mysterious children in the world. They should have trigger warning for oh, Shinny's videos. Maybe. I love that movie. I like Children of the Dam. I love Christopher Reeve, man. He's great. In 12th century England. God. Remember when we watched Chris? We watched it. And we were like, "Oh my God, it's Mark Hamill." Yeah. Why is it every time they they can't even watch a damn video? That's why these videos are like eight hours. Because every time they try to watch it, she just stops and talks for like forty minutes. Yeah. Mark Hamill's in that movie, it's Children like, of the Day. Totally forgot that. Yeah, he plays the priest, and he's great. He's great. He's not in it too much, but when he's in it, he's great. Yeah. He he's a good priest. <laughs> See me That's with up, filters. Kathleen. I can make my own filters with makeup magic. <laughs> yeah. I, I, if anything, have proven that I can make myself look like many different types of people. Yeah, that's true. That's definitely true. Uh, well, like who? <laughs> I'm alien, Shani. <laughs> I can even go alien. No, that, but that one picture you, man, is, um, you can that blonde hair, you can, Holy shit. It, yeah, titties. it totally changes. <laughs> like, I don't know, you look like somebody like from California or something. You do your makeup and stuff. It's insane. <laughs> blonde. Hey. I like her. Actually. You miss the blonde? It's pretty hot. Oh. Yeah. 
Yeah, he has only the greasy <laughs> hair. Yeah. That was the fucking best. Maybe. <laughs> it was worth every penny. I always wanted to dye my hair like a starry night. That color too. Yeah. Yeah, in those places. I think that'd be really cool. Could you do that? Probably. Put a starry She's got dye her hair like starry night. Yeah, good luck with that. <laughs> the blonde was so beautiful. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, you look amazing. It looked like clown <laughs> hair. Like a fucking model, model, model. She looked like Pennywise. <laughs> so hot is when you, and it wasn't even permanent hair color. It was just spray. You did the spray, the green. That was. <laughs> I, I wanted that every second of the day looking at you. You look so fucking hot. <laughs> and when you went out, you were wearing those big, you, like up to here, uh, white boots that were fluffy. The guys, yeah. guys looked at you like, so bad. I like, I need a fucking hammer out here with these dudes. <laughs> the way everybody would look at you, dude. <laughs> like, damn. I love you with powder blue hair. <laughs> no, that green was, I don't know, there's something about green hair. I really like green hair. I like the rose pink. I That's your was, favorite? Is yeah. the unicorn pink? Yeah. My like God, that. That I just so love this. Yeah, it's pretty. Talk amongst themselves. It's a delicate pink. It's not too extreme. Yeah. It's pretty. I can't believe this is just from Delta 8, folks. Like, really. They act like crackheads over Delta 8. It, it's wild. And it's so hard for me to believe that. That's the only thing that they're ingesting. I never dyed my hair fully purple before, so I wonder. I know purple bleep brings out blue, so... Hey, yeah. dating gamer. Right. What's up? Yeah, it's like a pastel pink it was. Yeah. It, it was, was pretty. I always wanted that, though. Yeah, it was pretty. Pastel pink hair. But when it comes down to the end of it, like, I'm always gonna just really, really, really love, like, crazy multiple colors. Yeah. Like, that's just the way I am for some reason. I hey, know. when when the she finds out, finds out she doesn't have cancer, it would be nice if she'd apologize to everyone with cancer or know someone with it, you know? But, you know, she probably won't. I want to do that. It's cool shit. I want to do it my way, though. Mm -hmm. Dye my hair my way. Mm -hmm. well, real life anime girl has been a long road. Yeah, it has. That's right, real life anime girl. <laughs> it's been fun with the hair dye. I'll be honest. If I could, if I had my phone, I could find a picture. You know, just go to my Instagram. They're all there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, all the pics are there. Two children were found lost in a forest. They spoke yeah. only gibberish, wore strange clothing, and had bright green skin. When the children finally learned to speak English, they oh, Ralph cool. of Kogashal interviewed Sir Richard himself, and he wrote long passages about the green children, how they were tending their flock, heard the bells, and wandered into a cavern. And when they emerged, they were struck by the brightness of the sun and the warmth of the air. When they heard the villagers coming toward them, they tried to flee, but they couldn't find the entrance to the cave. Another I can't believe they're still making the videos room. like this. lived on the opposite side of the country. His telling is remarkably similar to Ralph's. Now, Ralph's writing style is colorful and exaggerated. He includes stories of pirates and zombies. It's long, but I heard it's good. Okay. I'm, I I want to see it because I like the first movie. Despite what other people say, I liked it. She's live now on Twitch. Is she? I'm not playing her because I don't want to get in trouble by her because she's just nuts. But Oh, she is live. <laughs> Who's Last talking? Test. I, I, I love when she calls other people crazy. I mean, a lot of them are, but still. Where is she watching? Everyone's saying Salah is not worth this. They're all fucking attacking her, man. <laughs> they are attacking the fuck out of her in the freaking... Yeah, like, like what happens to you? Yeah, it's bad, dude. And she's pretending nothing's happening. Just like you. And she's being extra quiet. Whatever. It's boring shit. I'll just wait until Barbecue puts in the highlights. So then she watches a reaction channel yeah. for Chantel. Isn't that interesting? Is Ugh. But she doesn't want no one to watch a reaction channel of her. That's kind of hypocritical, huh, folks? Just saying. She's no better than everybody else. He highlights the supernatural elements of the legend. But William of Newburgh's writing is more grounded. William wrote like a journalist, just the facts, no flair. Oh, so you have to go back a thousand years to find journalists who actually report facts. Yeah, how did she get that so. heating pad, Patty? <laughs> different what happened to Agnes later in life. It well, they, right, used, they used to believe that the news was actually important by making it fact-based. And now it for the news, it's like the most extreme thing. You, what's newsworthy, I guess you could say. Yeah. Which is the most extreme, ludicrous things. With a little sprinkling sometimes of something good. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much like Twitter chat rooms now, the news. Yeah. Everyone's got a fucking opinion. Count she stays in the service of Sir Richard for many years. 
In another version of the story, she marries an English diplomat. Now, unsurprisingly, every time the story is told, details are changed and added, but the original works by Ralph of Kogeshal and William of Newburgh are considered the most reliable. So, uh, no debugging? Maybe. I'm gonna give you as many facts as I can, but remember, these three cases are technically still unsolved. Yeah, I swear, it looks like she's sitting on, on a beanbag chair. In what is now Nuremberg, Germany, a teenage boy was shuffling around town. He walked like a toddler and was mumbling nonsense. Oh, they the did. The boy was dressed like he'd been living on the street. His shoes were so worn that he had trouble walking. But he also had an expensive silk handkerchief with the initials K.A. And, and K, those are people that she considers troll trolls. The people that are literally taking care of them and her animals. She calls trolls. Isn't that, re isn't that like amazing? I think it's incredible that there's people, these trolls that are nice enough to help them. She embroidered on it. And he wore an expensive <laughs> silk necktie. Necktie? That looks more like an ascot. What's an ascot? Two cheeks and a hole. Maybe he was a fucking runaway from a rich person's house. Yeah, probably. Probably. <laughs> you like that? <laughs> At first, the boy didn't say much to the police. It's my kid. But he carried an envelope containing two letters. The first was addressed to a cavalry captain. The letter said the author was not related to the boy, though he had raised him as a son. The letter also said that since the day he was born, he had never left the house so that nobody would know where he was from. The letter went on to say that the boy could read and write and wanted to be a horseman like his father, so the captain could take him on or hang him, whichever he wished. The letter ended rather ominously, with the author saying he had to send the boy to Nuremberg alone, that if he went with him, it would have cost him his life. At the police station, the boy wrote down his name, Casper Hauser. Sure. Observers noticed that despite being 16 years old, oh, yeah. he behaved like a young child. He walked like a toddler taking his first steps, and when someone spoke to him, he would usually just speak the same words back. And despite his weird behavior, people soon realized that Casper Hauser had normal intelligence. And once he calmed down, he was able to talk about where he was from and how he arrived. Maybe he's autistic? Maybe. I mean, it seems like it. Maybe. That fish annoys me too, but I like the stories that he does. Yeah. After the city, <laughs> Hauser said he had spent his entire life alone in a cell. He was fed nothing but- I love that, that Shane knows that the expert. She knows who, who's autistic, who's not, and how not to take care of him. Water. He was provided with a blanket and a couple of wooden toys. He had never seen his captor. Even while walking to Nuremberg, he was told to look down. He only knew the sound of the man's voice. With nowhere to go, the local schoolmaster, George Daumler, agreed to take Hauser in and continue teaching him. Hauser certainly acted like he was confined to You gotta go life. back and see the what, Patty. He mirror, he you don't leave! Him, trying to find the other boy. And when someone brought him a candle, he burned himself trying oh, to Oh, you're gonna go look at that. Oh, okay, I got you. Anything he wanted. The only food that didn't repulse him was bread and water. As his communication skills improved, Hauser gave more details about his life. He spoke of a recurring dream he had, where he was in an enormous castle. He saw a tall man with a sword dressed all in black, and a woman wearing an elegant dress. He wondered if this was actually a memory. Over time, Casper Hauser became a local celebrity. A favorite pastime for people in the city of Nuremberg was to try and figure out the true origin of the mysterious boy. Huh. Some people thought he was just the con man, addicted to the attention that he was receiving. But there was a rumor going around that he was a lost prince, possibly the son of Grand Duke Karl von Baden mm. and his wife's step- Well, I, I freaking nailed it then. Yeah, I thought the same thing. Yeah. The need to Bournay. But whether Hauser's story was a lie or the truth, eventually his past would catch up with him. Huh. One day in 1829, Hauser was found in the basement bleeding from a head wound. Hauser claimed his attacker was his captor, the man that had brought him to Nuremberg. The man wore a hood, but he recognized the voice that had said, You still have to die, ere you leave the city of Nuremberg. Another incident happened a few months later, when Hauser was living with a different family. I wonder Hauser who that was. Hauser was shot by an attacker who he didn't see, but he later said he was climbing on a chair to reach a book on a high shelf. He accidentally knocked a gun off the wall when it just went off. And Hauser started bouncing from home to home, and everyone who took him in said the same thing. He seems like a gentle boy, but he's a liar. In 1833, oh, oh. Casper Hauser was staying with yet another oh. family. On December 14th, he burst through the doors of his home with a massive wound in his chest. Blood was everywhere. He claimed he met a stranger in a park who had given him a purse, stabbed him, and ran off. He said the purse was still there. That's right. Everyone yeah. was suspicious of how Hauser became injured. Reluctantly, How's it coming up the, the sides, then, Jillian? How's it coming purse, up the sides? No, written in reverse handwriting. Hauser will be able to tell you quite precisely how I look and I know. Where I am. To save Hauser the effort, I want to tell you myself from where I come. Dash, dash. I come from dash, dash, dash. It's okay, Eva. Dash, I appreciate it. Dash, 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 dash. I will even tell you the name. It's not. And there were a few. What the fuck? Okay. <laughs> Who is this kid? 50 Cent? I know, man. He just he's a survivor, dude. Like, he's trying to kill him. Yeah, I think that, that fish is freaking this them out. Nuts who's chasing after him. Yeah. Suspicious details about this attack. It was snowing that day, but there were only one set of footprints found. Hauser's. And the letter was folded corner to corner, which is an unusual way to fold a letter. But Hauser was known for doing this. The letter also contained grammatical errors that Hauser was known to make. It was thought that Hauser attacked himself again, but thrust the knife in too far. He died of his wound three days later. Even after his death. It's like when when Rev was writing that death note to Drag. We knew right away that it was Rev who wrote that. <laughs> People tried to unravel the mystery of Casper Hauser. Some thought that Casper Hauser was actually the Prince of Baden, who was born in 1812. It was alleged that he had been switched with a dying infant to prevent him from inheriting the title. His parents were rumored to be Carl, Grand Duke of Baden, and Stephanie de Barnet. Well, he certainly looks like them. Yeah, definitely. 
Yeah, he's got his dad's face a lot, but but mom, yeah. you see mom there too. Yeah, dude, he looks like them, dude. Definitely. I think they nailed it. The lips too. Yeah. And the chin. He's got the clef in his chin. Yeah, it all fits. Yeah. Yeah, man. Mm-hmm. The daughter of Napoleon. And since Hauser died with no male heir, whether he, he was related to Napoleon, or not, no longer mattered. In 1876, the historian Otto Middlestadt researched the case and found no evidence that Hauser was the prince. Another historian, Fritz Strauss, confirmed Middlestadt's Fritz findings Strauss. and said any claim that Hauser was a prince is a silly fairy tale. In 1951, letters of the Grand Duke's mother were published, and the letters gave detailed accounts of the child's birth, illness, and death. So the Hauser as a prince theory was finally put to rest. Hauser was buried in a local cemetery where his headstone reads, Here lies Caspar Hauser, riddle of his time. His birth was unknown, his death mysterious, 1833. And there's even a statue of him in the old city center at the very place where Hauser first appeared. Mm. His life was a mystery for a hundred years. And now the statue of Caspar Hauser can fuel the imagination of others for hundreds of years to come. Huh. Interesting. Oh. The Picards lived on a farm in Brittany, France. Two-year-old Pauline The Picards was... lived on a farm in Brittany, France. Well, it definitely France. Uh... No, it's like more like a gunt, man. You see that thing up there? Where, oh, where, it shakes. Where, where is the wine farm? Yo, you see how much it jiggled? It, it, that, that, the, wait, wait, wait. I gotta, I, gotta, I gotta search my Star Trek references. I think it's Brittany. Okay. Picard's Brothers uh, Vineyard Location. Shit. It is Trekkie shit. But, dude, I think this is where they got it, man. Oh, yeah. No, oh, it's, I'm it's in Bordeaux. Bordeaux. Okay. Bordeaux, France. So I was wrong. But that's interesting. <laughs> she was wrong. The farm with the cards. She was wrong, folks. I know they're all hating on it. I can't watch that. That's triggering to me. <laughs> Man, fuck that shit. It's one of nine children. One Guys, day, make sure everyone likes. Pauline was playing outside with her brothers and sisters. Thank you. Something the kids did every day. When they were summoned for dinner, Pauline wasn't among them. Within a few hours, thank you all for hanging out. Every inch of the farm and the surrounding area, there was no sign of her. As time went on, rumors began to circulate. Maybe a wild boar had attacked and eaten her. There was a suspicious yeah, chimney right? in town who, a few weeks earlier, tried to give Pauline candy. Neighbors said they saw two strangers hanging around the farm about the same time Pauline disappeared. But even in the best possible scenario that none of the rumors were true, there was no way a two-year-old could survive in the elements for this long. I mean, I gotta well, soon the pain place. and loss set in, but the cards would never see their daughter again. But if that's Except that damn fish, yeah, the annoying fucking <laughs> fish, the heckler bitch. Yeah. My number isn't showing? It's not... Uh, 500 pounds. Oh, no, not that number. How many people are watching me? Oh. 45. <laughs> 45. 45. <laughs> Sucker. I see 48. Okay. It does. I mean, I don't know if it's because people don't watch on Twitch or they just don't want to support Shani or either or. Everyone's at foodie right now. But she's boring as shit. So whatever. Wow. Go see her play phony and pretend nothing happened. That's okay. <laughs> okay. Just I can say Shani's boring as shit. But go watch her play phony and pretend that nothing happened with her children. But that's okay. Right? Right? I know, right? That's BS. She's not even saying anything. She's. Yeah. See? Yeah. About a month later. She's playing Nothing Happened. I'm not watching that. The you were playing Nothing Happened. The town of Sherbourne. You're playing Nothing right Happened, you liar. I only Shit, heard folks. go ahead and cancel me. I don't care. Okay. Yeah, she big, man. Well, it's whatever. Big. I don't care about her. Ha <laughs> ha. You're so mean right now. I'm sorry. I apologize. And on foot. The police showed I'm a sick of liars. The they couldn't believe it. It was Pauline. Pauline's parents went to retrieve her, but when they finally saw her, Pauline didn't seem to react. The Picard sat with her. They talked to her, but she seemed distant. The Picards were worried Pauline was in shock, but doctors said that aside from being malnourished, she was perfectly healthy. Then they started to wonder if this actually was their daughter. She looked like her, same hair, same blue eyes, same features, but there was this kernel of doubt in her parents' minds. Still, they took her home, hoping that familiar surroundings would spark her memory. Pauline's sisters immediately recognized her, which was a huge relief for her parents. Pauline's family figured it would just take time before life would get back to normal. Would life get back to normal? Shut up! Not even close. Stupid fish. A few weeks later, a farmer crossing a How's it going, Twitch Mama? How's Twitch Papa? Twitch Papa's laying on the floor right now. Yeah, my back is having my spasm here. Flush the fish. Oh. That's so bad. 
yield about a mile from the McCart's farm, found the body of a young girl. Near the body, neatly folded, were Pauline's clothes. The same clothes she was wearing the day she went missing. And also nearby was a skull of a grown man. What? Now it seems there were two murders to solve. The field where Pauline was found had been searched when she went missing. So police believe the body was placed there uh, recently. The neatly folded sure, quite a bit. a murder, but the autopsy was inconclusive. Doctors thought dying cold was just as <laughs> and She like makes pretty good. There were two suspects that police pretty good money. Considered. The first was one of the Picard's farmhands named Garamond. The day Pauline disappeared, he had been invited for breakfast. He was said to have cuddled her a little too much. And so oh, no. Oh, no. Why does it always lead to this shit? Always. Can you just keep your hands off the children? Ah. What? Please. <sighs> what? Did she just say... Are you serious? Have Hold on. Oh. Considered yoga. Hold on. Yes. Oh. Hold on, folks. I can't. Why does it always lead to this shit? Always. The day Pauline disappeared, he had been invited for breakfast. He was said to have cuddled her a little too much. Ah, so oh, no. Hold on. Uh, eight hours, 18 minutes, 36. Please, someone write that down, because I definitely want to super chat that one. Why does it always lead to this shit? Always. Can that... you just keep your hands off the children? Ah. I mean, is she talking to Rev? Ha ha. Please. <laughs> Yo, hypocrite much? I, I don't know, folks. Like, I don't know if she does this on purpose, because it really pisses me off. Like, how hypocritical that was, and that Rev actually did that. And she's like, why can't they just keep their hands off the kids? Why every time? I, I could ask you the same thing. <sighs> Awful. That's foul. Have you ever considered <laughs> yoga? Yes. I know I like doing little things like that. <laughs> Sorry, Eva. <laughs> heard him telling Pauline on more than one occasion that he would find her a good home in a different town. And at 1 p.m. that day, he was alone with Pauline, and someone overheard him telling her that she was going with him. Police followed the path he would have taken, but ultimately decided the timing just didn't match up. Then a local farmer named Eves Martin stopped by the cards. He said he heard Pauline had been found. They told him she had. He then blurted out, God forgive me, I am guilty, and ran... You know what it is is 700 people yelling and screaming at her. So... So what? That's not your problem. No, thank you. They got her cornered. That's what they want. They want her to rage. And they got her fucking cornered. And they're going to use her insecurities against her. Just like you. From the farm exactly the like you. The next day, he was taken to a lunatic asylum. Although he confessed to the murder, no other evidence has ever been found. No other clues or suspects emerged. And Pauline's death remains a mystery. So what can we unravel? She's laughing that her cat is dying? Boy, she knows how to get attention. I swear to God, I cannot go down that low to get attention. Yeah. Gotcha, bitch. Are you kidding I me? Say fuck her and don't give her attention. Oh my God. Whoa. You can't go that low. This ain't low. This ain't low. Okay. <laughs> Living at your boyfriend's uncle's house and just squatting here and just sitting on a piss filled couch that you, you know, fill with pee and just turn the couch cushion over. This ain't low enough for you. Okay. Sure, Jan. From these three stories. First, the green children of Woolpit. Uh, you mean the green Martian children of Planet Mars? Uh, unlikely. <sighs> Given what was going on in that area of England during the 12th century, I think we could put together what really happened. In 1173, King Henry faced the Great Revolt, an uprising uh, by his uh, eldest sons, supported uh, by France, Scotland, uh, and Flanders. Flanders is the northern part of Belgium where Flemish is spoken, and there were a lot of Flemish immigrants in England. During the you remember that in Ghosts? That was so freaking funny. Pat, or, uh, 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 what the fuck is his name? Patrick Swayze. Patrick Swayze, yeah. He was, like... <laughs> he was annoying Whoopi Goldberg while she was trying to sleep. Yeah. And he was seen in Harry the Eighth. That's a great movie. Alright, a little fun fact about that movie, folks. Uh, Demi Moore is in it. And guess who was going to be the lead? It was actually supposed to be her ex-husband, Bruce Willis at the time. But at the time, folks, at the time, Bruce Willis didn't think that a movie about a dead man trying to help people 
uh, that were alive wouldn't sell. Well, the movie did do well, and then he moved on to do uh, that movie with Haley Joel Osment. You know that he sees dead people. I love ghosts too. Oh, I love Dirty Dancing too. Yeah, I can't help it. Donnie Yeah, he was great, man. <sighs> Rip Patrick Swayze. Yeah, he went too young, man. Yeah, yeah, he went too young. Roundhouse. He kicks the shit in a Roundhouse, man. Yeah. Fuck this world, man. Everyone dies. Great revolt. The Battle of Fordham was fought just a few miles from Woolpit. Eventually, an uneasy peace was reached, but King Henry, angry at the Flemish mercenaries, was persecuting Flemish settlers. All yeah. this was going on at the exact time the green children were found. It's most likely that the children were refugees from a battle yeah, or six simply cents. fleeing six English cents. soldiers who were That's harassing it. the settlement. The Flemish language, which is a dialect of But Dutch, yeah, they wanted Bruce Willis, like but he didn't want to do it. And the Flemish were known for wearing clothes that were very different than English. As for the green skin, there's a condition called chlorosis or hypochromic anemia, which is a type of iron deficiency. It even had a nickname back then. And, and also, uh, there was a part, there's a part in there where uh patrick swayze sees his dead body like like the uh what you call it, the dummy and i guess he looks a lot like his father and his father just 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 jo died and when he saw the body and you see him freak out that freak out was real what you didn't see is they had to cut the camera because he had a seizure or something because that he, he for for real had a freak out thinking that he was seeing his dad's uh dead body when he saw the dummy of himself I mean, when he first dies in the beginning back then the green sickness if the children were refugees fleeing a battle they were most likely living off of whatever they can scrounge from the land oh yeah right he so gets less attention <laughs> and also why they would eat nothing but raw green beans for months but as the children ate a more diverse diet their green yeah he said room. roundhouse yeah not, not ro i was like is that roadhouse arsenic poisoning though <laughs> arsenic typically acts faster nobody really knows the caves the children spoke of do exist in the area flint and chalk mines are everywhere huh that's interesting they couldn't find their way home those poor oh kids. really i didn't know brucey played music and the cave would be a good place to hide from a battle or from soldiers. In fact, there are large caves between Woolpit and the small village of Fordham, the site of several battles during the Great Revolt. And the church of Fordham was called St. Martin's Church. When the girl said oh. she was from St. Martin's Land, this is likely what she meant. Oh! These details, with oh! 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 That makes sense it's easy to now. See how this legend was born. Still, these are just best guesses. Nobody really knows who the children were or where they were from. Now, Casper Hauser. The real mystery is, who was he? Remember, several historians debunk the idea that he was a prince. They used public records and private letters to prove this. The problem with public records and private letters? People lie. Right. People lie. Yeah. But DNA doesn't. After a couple of hit and miss tests in the 90s, a DNA test in 2002 yielded an astonishing result. Hair and skin samples from Hauser's clothes were tested. They proved with 95% accuracy that he was related to Princess Josephine of Baden, whose mother- Oh! He is that their kid, man! Yeah. Got right. Was Stephanie de Beauharnais von Baden? He actually was a prince. Well, there's a 95% chance he was. The only way to know with 100% certainty is to test the DNA of his alleged mother and the DNA of the child buried as her son. But yeah. the House of Baden has declined to participate. Nicholas. Our final mystery is wow. the asylum leap card. Unfortunately, there's not much else to report. It was assumed that the killer was Eves Martin, the farmer committed to an asylum, but no physical evidence was ever found that could link him to the murder. So who was the girl even with that this whole time? Nobody knows. She barely spoke. After learning the true fate of Pauline, the Picards didn't know what to do with the girl. You know, I actually want to know about the Limburg baby more information about that because that one is a fascinating mystery murder mystery crime thing whatever you want to call it you know about this guy who is a pilot with a lot of money and they steal the baby and it ends up dead it's just a lot going on there and i wish i wish she would actually look into watch a video about that because i'd actually be interested to know about that one they sent her to an orphanage where she died a few months later of measles. Her name oh, wow. has been lost to history. But the stories of the green children of Woolpit, Casper Hauser, and Pauline Picard have not been lost to history. They're now part of it. And who knows, with enough time, we may finally get the answers to these mysteries. But until then, they remain unsolved. Yeah. That was cool. That's interesting. So he's 95% probably her son. He is royalty. So his mother lied. But they say he's a liar, so I guess he got that from mom. The lion gene. But anyway, guys, I'm gonna I'm gonna go for tonight. You guys can go watch Foodie Beauty, enjoy yourselves, mm -hmm. laughing at her, acting like an ass. Um, I'll be seeing you tomorrow. I love you guys. Thank you for all the support. You guys are awesome. Bye, guys. Support. I ain't support. <laughs> People are just laughing. And you know what, folks? You should laugh because she's a low cow. She's a crazy, crazy low cow. But on that on that note. 
thank you guys for hanging out. I mean, 140, 150, it was like 180 at one point. That is awesome. Keep it coming, you know, because I'm here just to have fun, chill out, neutral group here. So it's like, I don't care what anyone says. I'm not part of nothing, so I can talk about everybody. <laughs> it's kind of cool when it's like that. And, you know, we we're, we get away with a lot of stuff here because, you know, that's what happens when you're not really part of anything. But uh, I just can't believe all this stuff with Shandy. Hopefully she gets to go see that doctor, hopefully. And hopefully we'll get an update on that. I'm still waiting on some things. I still have some great ideas uh, down the uh, pipeline. This is some few surprises for you guys. And I hope you like it. But please, uh, if you watch this long, uh, thanks for being here. Please like on the way out. What's up, Replay Crew? And if you haven't you haven't subbed, please. What are you doing? You you watched you watched like a two and a half long video of mine. If you don't love me at this point, I, I don't know who you love. Or just sub to me. Who cares? I need 150. You know, then I'm at 2K. Please, please. I will be your personal creator forever <laughs> but now just thanks guys you know you guys make me laugh and i like hanging out with all yous i like laughing with all yous it's really great and it's the chats like you make me want to keep coming back and doing more and that's why i do it at this point i love having fun with yous and you guys are cool and you guys are all my friends and new members check out my member and the, my community tab because I have a link to my Discord. But that's it. I will see you and love yous. And that's it. Good night. I will see you on the next one. Peace. Foods.